Well, thank you for listening, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the program today. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention earlier the, uh, at the Victorian Jazz Club at the Clayton RSL, that's Saturday, May the 8th, next week. Uh, the Shuffle Club will be performing there. And on uh, Saturday the 22nd will be Ruby Page and Joe Roberto. So if you want to get along to those events, you could ring 9570-5884 uh, for the Victorian Jazz Club at the Clayton RSL. Well, thank you once again for listening in. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Uh, it's about a minute to go. And uh, don't forget to tune in next Saturday. Tim Harding will be here. And uh, he'll be here for the full two hours, I can sure sure of it. And I'll be back for two hours the following week as well. So Jazz Time is the program. And uh, we love uh, putting the show on for you. So be with us. And Listening to RWFM, People and the Peninsula, 98.7 and 98.3 RWFM.
the last time we were here, the benches were over the other side. So this is a new experience for us having the benches on this side. And it is the golf club side of the ground that we are calling from. If you're yeah, this way, but up there, couldn't even see it. So an opportunity now for Bomb Beach to go into attack through Coates. Goes towards full forward. Coming was the third man up in the contest there. A high hand pass and now the ball knocked forward towards the top of the goal square. Rosebud defence under pressure. They tap the ball towards the line and they get the ball through for a rush behind. So two behinds is the score and uh, two behinds play zero. And we are... Played four and a half minutes in the opening quarter. So Bomb Beach doing all the attacking so far towards the club rooms in, which is normally the scoring end at this ground. Long kick out of defence for Rosebud. Out towards Cumming. Ball was knocked away from him. Ball picked up there by Hogan. Gets a hand pass over towards Armitage. Another familiar left footing kick by David Armitage. He goes towards half forward, but the ball was uh, knocked away and over the line for a boundary throw in. Rosebud defending extremely hard at the moment. Bomb Beach doing all the attacking, which you'd expect with this breeze. Bomb Beach certainly don't want to lose two in a row. They lost here last week by four points to a, a much improved Romana last week. And we'll keep you updated with scores as we as afternoon. So thanks to uh, Solar Heart today. Solar Heart, the around the grounds will give us the updates of some interesting games. There might be some one-sided games. There's, there's, there's a few that create a bit of interest, that's for sure. And this is one of them. Kick off the ground towards half forward. Another kick off the ground towards attacking 50. Picked up by McDonald. This is where he's dangerous. Shane McDonald goes long. He goes long. He just goes off target though. Just to the near side. Held up in that breeze, Michael, which you'd expect it's going to happen today. It was a beautiful kick by McDonald actually off the boot considering he was tucked up next to the boundary line and very nearly created the goal. Short pass. Mark taken by Hustwaite. Fletcher. Hustwaite goes down the line towards... The centre wing, it's marked by Casey. Missing a target there. Bomb Jackson. Beach turnover, Michael. He's a very good player, Jackson Casey. He's an underrated player in this competition, but does get a lot of it. Two debutants for uh, for Bomb Beach today, Vossi Tyson Milne, wearing the number 25. So we've got Coates with the ball now. They go long towards inside attacking 50. Going back there was Dempster who knocked the ball away, knocked it towards the line and goes over for a point. And young Jason Carter wearing number 53 for Bomb Beach. So well done to those two boys. Bomb Beach four behinds at the six and a half minute mark of the opening quarter. Rosebud yet to score. Rosebud further said that it's about 30 metres out from goal. So they need to... Uh, just get their hands on the ball at the moment. Bomb Beach getting a lot of possession, but haven't been able to hit the scoreboard effectively so far. Is it, I think a downfield or a 50-meter penalty-free kick, and it'll go to Rosebud, and they've got an opportunity here to have a shot at goal. Just trying to pick up the player who's got it there. Short pass. Is that? I think that's Keegan with the boots. The orange I boots. I might be Keegan Downey. I reckon you could be right. So, so Keegan on a slight angle. He's going to kick from about 40, about 40 out. Oh no, he's got a long, long walk up there. He's going to kick from about 35 as he's just about to set sail. We'll follow this one through. He's kicked a goal. That's a first for the day. Going to a course, Keegan Downey in the Rosebud Football Club. That's that's going to hurt Bomb Beach. They've they've had uh, most of the play in the first four or five minutes. Vossi, absolutely. Uh, they will. Uh, they will certainly. Um, be thinking they should have hit the scoreboard early. Uh, Craig, are you keeping the inside 50 so far? It'll be all Bomb Beach so far. Pretty much all Bomb Beach here, uh, three to one actually, if you count that uh, that one that was uh, uh, in the defensive end for uh, for Bomb Beach. So ball back to the middle. One straight Rosebud, four behinds Bomb Beach. We've played seven and a half, almost eight minutes in the opening quarter. We're live here at Cairns Avenue thanks to TV Magic as a quick kick yes. forward comes there for Rosebud inside attacking 50 by that un 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 under 20, number 20 player and he's played very well so he's had four touches so far. So we've got to get the uh, the number change on that. And Dale, Dale Marshall. That's who it is. He's wearing number 20. That's who it is. Okay, is he on the list? He no. is. He's got 49. We've got him as 49, Dale Marshall. So thanks, Lockie, for that. Of course, Lockie White, Vice President of the Rosebud Football Club, great friend of RPPFM. He's had about four touches so far, has uh, 
as Dale Marshall, and he's looked very good in doing it so far. So ball up to take place, half 40 for Rosebud, probably 60 metres out from their goal. And they've got the only goal on the board so far. We've played nearly 10 minutes in the opening quarter. Everyone's just turning around and just sort of can hear the, 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 uh, the dulcet, dulcet tones, tones dulcet tones of us boys up here, and they're just mm. looking and just admiring, as, a, as they should be. As they should be. McDonald a hand pass. In awe. Here's an opportunity for Bombiche. Go to centre half for Dennis Lane. Tried to get out the back. He has got out the back. Now he goes with a high kick. It's going to be off target, though. So Bombiche a wasting opportunity. Five behind, five points. As the scoreboard up road sitting beside us, he just sits there and shakes his head. He's like a young Matty Main, this kid. Yeah, he's with a young... With, 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 with a, a, a hairstyle. A very, very good look-alike. A young Matty Main. With the mullet, of course. Matty Main was on hot seat the other night. Oh, on, on Thursday. I think it was th Thursday. Yeah, I'm sure it was Thursday. He was on this week. The hot seat is in Yeah, the hot Eddie seat. McGuire. Eddie McGuire's show. Yeah, he was. He almost got the $1,000. Here's an <laughs> opportunity for a shot at goal. And that's a goal. That is a goal. So Bond Beach do have their first, just trying to pick up the player who kicked it, and that, of course, was Mitch Gent. Um, so they're up to 1-5-11 and rose by a one straight six. And you're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of potential football. Do you have TV antenna or reception Sunny. issues? Need to warm out your TV or want extra TV? How are you doing? Points? Then talk to TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. TV Magic are your local TV and... I only got here towards the end. I got detoured a lot. TV, home theater, <laughs> satellite, glass... Electrical. Oh no. Visit us at tvmagic.com.au or contact Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. And he got a question TV and he Magic. went out on the, per the first the question he was answering. He couldn't pass it and he went out. Sponsor. It was about a, about a windmill or something in and Launceston. Welcome back to our coverage of the game between uh, Bond Beach and Rosebud. And uh, Rossi, over to you. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Craigo, for that. And um, yeah, so our uh, good mate Matty Mayne was on the uh, was on the hot seat the other. I did did himself proud, but got a question. There was an absolute stinker of a question. I got to say that he got and he uh, he bowed out. So Baker there with a strong lead on the left forward flank, just knocking it out of bounds. Umpire to throw it back in. So. 1-5-11 plays one straight six, and we've played 11 minutes in the opening quarter. We're live here, thanks to TV Magic. Matthew Cummings and uh, Waterstone going to be a good match up today in the ruck for those two. That's a beautiful kick towards the centre of the ground, and that is going to be a free kick for holding the man. It's going to go to Lockie gil -Renouf, who's got it just a defensive side of centre. Goes towards half forward. Got the mark, he's got the loose man here created in uh, Jack Sullivan, who had the loose man forward, but he instead he goes to McDonald, which is still a pretty good pass, but he could have got probably another 10 or 15 metres had he gone to the first option. But still a pretty good option, because Shane McDonald goes bang at goal, he misses. He'd be, he'd be th furious with himself there, uh, yeah, short pass. He's missed two already. Yeah, well, he didn't have much of an opportunity there, Vossi. He could have just gone back and found a target, but quick to play on and blast it away, hoping the uh, the wind to come over his shoulder and it just pushed the ball to the left, going through for a minor. I'd like to see I'd like to see him and Greg Bentley match up at some stage. Oh, I reckon that'd be awesome. Gross, wouldn't it? Hand pass over the top there by Bennett. Gets it towards his teammate there in Stenning, who's got it. Goes towards attacking 50. He was looking there for Fisher. Ball goes over for a boundary throw in. Cut off by Jackson McRae. Sees the ball out of bounds. Umpire to throw it back in, Michael. Mac is having a, a break there. What a superstar he is. Yeah, he looks superstar of our great game. He is an absolute superstar, that bloke. And uh, he, he he's about, I think he's about 53, isn't he? 36 <laughs> or something. Yeah, he's, yeah, I'm sure I read something. Yeah, he's mid-30, about 36. Yeah, I, I think. think he is mid to, mid to late, depending on where you're at. And for those of you listening or watching, and you might be watching at a state, of course, you might be watching overseas, but uh, this game today played in very warm conditions considering it is the first day of May. Yes, very true, first day of May. And, uh, oh, that's the other thing I should tell you too, uh, Matty, the other night, he wore, he wore shorts on the national TV. Of course he did. Nice pink shirt with shorts. Yep. All business up top. Relaxation down the bottom. No, nah, he, he did. He did all right. I was, like I said, he got a, he got an absolute stinker of a question. So if you're listening, Maddie, we love you. We do. We we do appreciate your work. No worry about that. So ball up to take place inside the attacking 50 here for Bomb Beach. So it's just over a scotch over 25 degrees here in Bomb Beach, Vossie. 
for our yeah. listeners to get an idea. This is warm, balmy weather. Probably feels about 28 up here, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, but with uh, the fans blowing, John Boyd just hooked us up, making uh, us comfortable. Uh, that's good, and uh, great, to, great to see he, was, he went out running this morning and uh, first did. run since his, uh, since his health issue. So well done, John, on that. As ball's picked up there by Marshall for Rose, but he goes towards the half-forward line. It's picked up now by Stenning, gets a hand pass over, and the ball now will go forward here for Bond Beach. A low flat kick towards centre half forward. Armitage was at the back, couldn't get to the, the ball. It's picked up there on this occasion by Husway. He got tackled, he got dragged to ground. Was that a free kick? The umpire said no. And the umpire once again will call for a ball up. Bond Beach really good around their stoppages at the moment. Uh, this is where their, you know, their small men really come into play. So, five points is the margin. Bomb Beach with most of the play so far. There's a free kick for throwing and a free kick to Rosebud. And the free kick is going to go to Nick Batsanis, who was so good a couple of weeks he ago. He was very, very good against Tremana, of course, getting the uh, the match of the day. He was Sorry, the, uh, the, the player of the day. The he was absolutely wrapped getting that short pass. He was, thanks to uh, Kev at, at Eliza Meets. But you notice, you notice when, you, when you get the prize out and all of a sudden you go over and you give him the best, best player, whatever the award is, a trophy, a... A meat tray, whatever, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's about four or five people that swarms like photo opportunities. A photo, photo, photo. Yeah, well, Vossi, I'd like to think that they just wanted photos of you and I, mate, personally. Well, that's probably true, too. So <laughs> they're only human, after all. <laughs> they are, they are, Michael. We are rating with popularity. No, we're not. We're just flogs. No one listens to us. No, they just view us. They just view us. They view you when you're volatile. Yeah, Marcus, bon Marcus Bontempelli copped it this morning. No one's immune. No one is immune. They weren't immune last year. I think the road workers year. might cop it this afternoon too. I reckon they might. <laughs> well, I'd love to know what way you come in as Trent Dennis Lane there quickly gathers the ball in the pocket, seeing it out of bounds. I came McCray down the highway. there hot on his tail. Sorry, Vossi. I came down the highway. I normally turn at Tar just after Tarim Station. Of course, that turn's no longer there. And then there's a turn, uh, the detour, and then there was another detour. And I ended up going all the way up. Uh, basically, to drive back about... I reckon about three or four minutes back. So uh, and that player on Trent Dennis Lane, I'm sorry, is it McRae? It's Jari Kennedy. There's and a quick kick. Just, uh, just as I say that, uh, he just runs off him and a quick kick as he turns. Trent Dennis Lane turns around and kicks Bomb Beach's first for the day. Second for the Second day. Second for the day. I can't see a scoreboard. <laughs> Two goals, five seventeen plays one straight six. And if you can, and there it is. Yep, re yep, it's on there. So yeah, mine's aren't that good. Yeah, well, mine are. So, well, mine are okay, I'll enough, leave enough. you to do the score. And, of course, it, uh, the scoreboard is sponsored by Ray White of Frankston. Ray White of Frankston, not far from us, actually, here in Bond Beach, Michael. And tonight, Frankston versus Aspley, the game for broadcast. Yes, it is. Big game for the Dolphins tonight. If they can win that, they're 3-0. and zero. Going all right, the Dolphins, aren't they? There's a lot of talk around town. And yeah, they're getting a lot of people... I'd Believe, uh, I believe our ex, uh, our ex um, um, president, I, I couldn't think of the word, ex president of the radio station, Graham Neese, I think he's going tonight too to have a look at them. He normally oh, goes and has a look at Chelsea, but he's going with his son, I think, tonight and a couple others. So looking forward oh, to having a look at that. Shane McDonald just being caught with holding the ball there. Free so kick going to Rosebud. And it will go to Fletcher Huswell. Tell you what, he's a good size, isn't he's he? He's a young big guy. boy, Fletch. Long kick towards centre half forward off the pack. Bomb Beach with the opportunity to. Uh, the that ball bounced away. I was going to say about the opportunity to clear, but uh, the ball didn't bounce kindly in the end. They had to lock it up. So two. It's actually two six eighteen to one goal straight six, and we've played seventeen and a half minutes in the opening quarter. We're live here at Cairns Avenue in Bomb Beach. Hope you can uh, stay with us. Or if you want to stay with the you can view us throughout the afternoon. Uh, yep, okay. So we've got, we'll give you some scores in just a moment when we get a break in play, which we might do now. Frankston Bombers 17, Red Hill 6, Dramana 20, Pines 13, YCW 28, Edafail 6, Sorrento 18, Mount Eliza 7. We'll get some Division 2 updates for you shortly. There's a quick kick, and it's taken by McDonald. Defensive uh, back pocket. He got the ball towards half-back, and now the ball's just sort of starting to come back into side a little bit. It's actually over the line. We're actually in a bit of a blind spot there, but that's OK. Just picked up another player for Rosebud that uh, we don't have a number or a name for. He's wearing number 42. Wang Warren, 25. 
Hastings 6. I'd better not knock that TV over. I won't be very popular. Devon Meadows 22, Tyab 0. Chelsea 13, Somerville 23, Seaford 13, Crip Point 7, Mornington 28 have got off to a good start against Rye who are on 10. So a good start for the Doggies there. Quick kick towards centre half forward there for Bomb Beach. It's um, easy for the defence to clear through the uh, through the back line as uh, Trent Dennis Lane fell over. So now they go down the, the broadcast side, they go towards centre wing. It's picked up there by Armitage. He got blocked as he tried to hand pass it. Now the ball comes back towards Boss. Robbie Boss for Rose, but does towards half forward. Down he's in there. And the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. And I don't know how much further I can go here before I actually start tipping over. I'll grab your legs. I feel like a teapot here. I'm about to tip over. You're not short and stout, mate. I'll give you the red hot tip. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Another ball up. So we're just about to hit time on in the opening quarter. It's a 12-point lead to, to uh, Bomb Beach, but they really have had opportunities. Eight shots to one is testament to that. They should be further in front, but they're not. Good tackle applied on the Bomb Beach player Nick Waterstone. What do they call him? The Wet Rock? Is it Wet Rock they call him? I think it Yes, it is Wet Rock. I think that was Lockie. Lockie Kelly that did that, wasn't it? Yeah, I could have been, but uh, it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty apt nickname, even if it's not... It's like, it's like, it's like Mornington last week with uh, Kalen Bird was playing, and uh, of course it, I, it, I affectionately call him Big Bird. Well, they probably don't, but that's all right. Rosebud have kicked the point. So, so that, uh, that player in number 42... For our listeners and, and for yourself, Michael, is uh, is Lockie Armstrong. Okay. Playing in the forward line. Keep an eye on him. Also wearing the flashy, the flashy boots. I do believe. So we're into time on. We're 21 minutes into the opening quarter. It's not going to be a super long quarter, I wouldn't imagine, with only three goals kicked. Maybe about a 25-minute quarter or so. As ball is picked up there for Bomb Beach, but good tackle applied, and the umpire says, I'll just start call for a ball up just to keep the ball. Rose, but about 65 metres out from their goal, left half forward flank. Ball up to take place. It's going to see how uh, it's going to be interesting, Bossy, to see how both uh, both teams just manage their interchange today. Obviously, with it being so hot, not used to playing footy in these conditions, and it is a, a strong northerly blowing at about 30 k's an hour. It's pretty warm out there. And first of uh, first of May as well, which makes it even more. And that tomorrow's going to be warm as well. And then there's a cold front, I believe. As Batsanis with the ball, just keeping in front of him along the ground, goes to half forward. Ball comes out. A little bit of a tussle there. Lockie Armstrong with a quick kick. Sam Gilbert down the line. True wing position. On the afterburners now is Jack Sullivan. Jack Sullivan looking for Trent Dennis Lane. Couldn't find him. Ball goes to ground. Rosebud in command right now as... Kick goes out towards the centre wing and it's going to be picked up here for... Rosebud by Boss again. He, he's, he's played all right so far, oh. Robbie Boss. Kick towards centre half forward has been marked there. And it's been marked there by, I think Jackson that's Jackson Casey. Casey out there, who's. Great defensive mark, Vossi. Playing a little bit of uh, half oh, back role as opposed to his normal role Luke of uh, on the ball, what we've seen. Luke Verma there just dropping an absolute sitter, lace out. He's quick. To, oh, high. Um, high. Umpire didn't. Oh, yep, did see that. Free kick going to that man there, Luke Verma. Second efforts a virtue. He knew he had to go back and get that and then deserves and is rewarded for the free quick free kick. Umpire quick to play him on. Looking for Trent Dennis laying down the line. Gets a couple of mitts to it. Picked up there by Bomb Beach. Stacks on the mill. Ball's not going to come out locked up. Umpire to throw it back in, Vossi. 23 minutes in the opening quarter. I reckon we've got about two minutes, if that, to the opening quarter to go. I don't reckon we're going to get too much more time on that. There's been a few points scored, but nothing really to extend the time on period, I wouldn't have thought, but you never know. Kick towards 
the centre of the ground. It was a, it's an interesting looking kick. They asked his teammate to go and get it and they did. Bomb Beach going short towards his teammate there who was uh, Mitch uh, Gill who gave away a free kick. For tripping bossy. So kick forward there by Nance Cow and Jai it was towards half forward but it's been marked on this occasion by Sean Corrigan for the Bomb Beach side left half back goes in short. Mark's been taken. Now they can go out towards centre wing. Trent Dennis laying Big off. Big fella. Tom Boston. Hogan's got it. The, uh, he, used to, he used to be a left arm, very, very orthodox pedestrian spinner, Tom Hogan, for Australia and Western Australia. Waterstone of off. Of the 80s. Gasping in the big ones. Long kick towards half forward. Mark has been taken there, 50 metres out, and I'll yeah. get a 50 metre penalty. I think that's Lockie gil Renouf who's going to go back and kick the easiest goal he's going to kick in his life. And Jari Kennedy there, just he's been, uh, he's been super cool. Uh, playing on Trent Dennis Lane there all quarter and just has a bit of a brain fart with a push in the back and Bomb Beach to dribble one through. Thanks to who was that player, Vossi? That was Lockie Gil Renouf. Thank the you, goal. Lockie Gil Renouf there with the free kick. So Too Mitch. easy there for, for Bomb Beach just before the quarter time siren. As I said, just a bit of a brain fart there by Jari Kennedy just pushing his opponent in the back. Gil Renouf with, uh, with their third. So goal kicker so far, Gent, Gil Renouf, and also uh, G yeah, Mitch Gent, look lucky Gil Renouf and Trent Dennis Lane have kicked one, and Rosebud's goal has been kicked by Keegan Downey. So Rosebud have just got to try and hold on here at the moment. They've been, well, they've been slaughtered in general play, let's be honest, so oh far. Struth. And they just need to hold on, and Nick Jewell needs just to get out there and just uh, reset them, because right now... They're getting, uh, they're getting beaten in general play. They just need to try and make sure they don't concede another one. Oh, that's a, th that's a throw over the... Sh uh, that, uh, when you go over the head like that, it's very hard to say that's a hand pass. Opportunity for Gilbert on the left foot. And Sam Gilbert, one thing you know about Sam Gilbert, and you know about David Armitage too, that non 99 times out of 100, they will go to their left foot because... Absolutely. I, I don't reckon Gilbert's got a right foot. Mitch Dempster there, just needing a second effort. Got pushed off the ball by Sam Gilbert, forcing Sam Gilbert to kick it out on the full bossy. So Rosebud's free kick. TDL there just uh, had a, look, a very small break. He's coming back on, just waiting for a player to make his way off so he can get back on. Mitch Gents got it. He gets the ball around uh, a Rosebud opponent and goes towards Armitage. He can set things up from half back here, David Armitage. He goes with a, uh, towards his teammate there in Stamatus, it was. Stamatus. Stamatus, is it? Okay. Yeah. Stamatis there, just with great vision, seeing his player in Coates, Blaine Coates. No relation to Coates higher. Could be. Short pass, mark taken by McDonald. Shane. He uh, is too far out to score, Shane McDonald. He can set it up towards Armitage. And David Armitage is usually a pretty good user of the ball, so I was going to say he could go back and really penetrate a long kick there. Instead, he goes in short towards McLean. And now in short, and got a teammate there who's taken the mark 50 metres out from goal, left half forward flank. Vossi, the Rosebud are doing a lot of pointing at the moment. A lot of players getting off free. They're all pointing at each other going, wasn't that your man? I think they've just lost their way a little bit here. The, the quarter time siren could not come quick enough, I feel, for Rosebud Football Club. Mitch Gent is the player who's going back for his second goal. Mitch Gent just needs to start the ball right in the middle of the goal post and the point post, I think, to allow it to come back. Let's see how this one goes through as he takes Future a nice... Future what happening there for nice 30, 35 <laughs> of uh, Bray Braden Chapel, Goes out on the right arc, does exactly what I said, but didn't go far enough right, pushes it across to the left, through for a minor. So three goals, 7.25. We played 27 and a half minutes, surely only seconds to go. 3.725 plays 1.17. This is going to be very interesting as Nick Batsanis brings the ball out quickly. Oh, straight down the throat McDonald's of Shane McDonald. McDonald quick to play on, finding his play there. Goal, bang. That was kicked by Trent Dennis Lane. No, no it, wasn't. it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That looks like number 16. Sorry, Vossi. No, it wasn't. Trent Dennis the man Lane running right back to the middle. Us. Man running back to the middle. He's just getting to the middle now. Number 19. That, that's Lockie Gil Renouf. Lockie Gil Renouf kicking his second goal. Second goal. Too easy there for, for Bomb Beach, Vossi. They just need to tighten up here, Rosebud, to keep in touch. They don't want to let this just draw out. 
McDonald was, would have been within his rights to have a shot, but he got the ball off, and then Lockie Gilrenouf took the mark. Oh, Lock and Gil Gilrenouf was on his jets, mate. He was one out. But also, the, run the into goal. there's only seconds to go in the quarter, so what I'm saying is that as he's running in, he, the siren could have gone and yep. beat him to it. Yep. So Yeah, very true. Um, so in that way... Um, they're, f they're fortunate there, but they've had a really, really good start and a really good answer to what the, what happened last week. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, the start that Bomb Beach would have wanted. They know they're kicking with the breeze. It's only a four-point loss last week. God, it's not not as if not as if they were absolutely trounced, but a, a loss is a loss, and they, they, they expect to win. Yep. They're, the, they're the side that people are talking about. So, um, yeah, no, they've answered in the first quarter in here very, very strongly. 4-7 plays 1-1 one, one margins, 4 goals, should be should be about 8 goals to be perfectly honest. Long kick towards half forward, going up there for Rosebud but not taking the mark. Ball on the ground and the Rosebud player I think almost uh, pushed his opponent in the back there. C-O-H-N, Cohen? 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 David Cohen? Yep. Alright, we'll go with Cohen then. Uh, so at quarter time in the match of the day it is Bomb Beach, 4-7-31. Rosebud 117, we'll take a break, come back and tell you all about it. And we are here live at the... Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get over those shorts. That's yeah. Oh, there it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, do you want to bring us out, Vossie, or you just oh, need some time? Oh, wow. Wait. So, sorry, we're blindsided there by, of course, my, uh, my great nephew, Lockie Kelly, who's appeared. It's uh, good to see him. He's just put his bum out of those horrendous looking shorts. Yeah, there's but a horrendous crack there. Yes, too. absolutely. But <laughs> bit we of a are cra bit of a crack up short. Well, um. Yes, crack up. We are here live thanks to TV Magic. It's quarter time. We'll take a short break and be back with you for the second quarter. You're listening you and watching. Now, you just make sure I'm, I'm right. I'm not going to pull this forward. Go there. Am I right? I just want to sit in just between the quarter breaks, that's all. Oh. Craig, oh. Brighton Auto is your Bayside and Peninsula automotive one-stop shop. This all-in-one award-winning Mitsubishi, MG and Sanyong dealership is also offering Holden certified parts and service. They have a huge range of new, demo and used vehicles plus factory trained service technicians. Your proud RPPFM station sponsor, Brighton Auto, will also ensure your dream car is well within reach and kept in great hands. Why not visit brightonauto.com.au or find them at 67 Pete Highway, Elstonwick, LMCT 10680. Discover the fresh new look at Woolworths Carindle Pub. We're excited to showcase our new fresh food market, roasting with delicious fruit and veg. Plus, check out our new in-store bakery. Head down to the new look Woolworths Carindle Hub today. Station sponsor. And uh, welcome back to uh, Bond Beach. Uh, quarter time score uh, is uh, Bond Beach uh, 4731 to 117. Yes, thanks, Wassie. Uh, thank you, thank you, Craig. Are you inside 50s at quarter, Craig? Uh, yeah, look, uh, even out towards the end of the quarter, um, uh, attacking inside 50s, Bond Beach 9 to Rosebud 8. But Rosebud were very ineffective going forward. Only the two scoring shots at quarter. How many inside 50s, sorry? Uh, Craig, go for Rosebud? Bond, uh, to Rosebud, it was 8. 8 to Rosebud? Yeah. Yeah, so just they had a bit of the play, but they just yeah, look, they uh, did yeah. have a bit of a bit of the play, but uh, look, credit to Bomb Beach, uh, they're they're known for their defensive football and de and especially their defensive line, uh, not able. Tom Bake has been uh, Tom Bake, he's been a uh, he's been a man missing for that first for that first quarter, so they're going to need to change that uh, rose, but if they're going to have an impact on the scoreboard, Greg it's Bentley as well. Yeah, Greg Bentley's been uh, he's almost been completely uh, a, a no-show. So just a couple of changes there I think need to happen. I'm sure Julie, Nick Jewell, of course, the uh, Rosebud coach is going to uh, just ask a little bit more of his players. He knows that they're going to be kicking to the wind, and kicking with the wind, Vossi, and uh, they're going to want to put a few goals on the board, Craig. Owen. Just meant to mention, too, uh, a couple of first gamers for Bond Beach this afternoon. Uh, 53 is Jason Carter, 
Uh, and uh, 25 for Bond Beach is Tyson Milne, son of the uh, St Kilda champ Stephen Milne. So Milne, he's... Uh, son he's of the Tip Rat. The Tip yeah. Rat. So his first... Um, t- tip Rat played a few games down at Sorrento, didn't he, Vossi? I think the Tip Rat uh, was training down there with them, I think, for a little he while. He played a game at Tyre a couple of years ago. Tire? He played a game at Tyre, I, I know, he, I think first game of the year. Might have been against Hastings a couple of years ago, I think, that, or two or three years ago. Uh, definitely played one game for, for Tyre, which got them... Uh, Got them a decent crowd in. Craigo, have you got some scores from around the grounds you can uh, give yeah. us thanks to Solar Heart? Yes, I can. Uh, in uh, the uh, Division 1, uh, Frankston uh, 28, Redhill 6. And that's three goals 10, by the way, yeah, so that they 10. are dominating. Yeah. yeah. Tramana uh, 2 8 20, Pines 2 1 13, uh, Frankston YCW 5 4 34 to uh, Edith Vale, Aspendale, one two eight. It's just ticked over to six four forty as well. Six four forty as well. Mount Eliza and Sorrento, Sorrento three two twenty. Mount Eliza two two fourteen, and of course it's uh, four seven thirty one to one one seven. We'll get the Division two scores for you um, as well. We'll bring those up for you. It's modern technology. We can do that very quickly. Absolutely, uh, just with a couple of swipes. Just with a couple of swipes. So uh, Lang Warren in control. We're not doing Tinder short pass. Uh, no. Five one thirty one. Hastings uh, two one thirteen. Uh, the drama continues for Tyab. Uh, Devon Meadows 3-5-23 to uh, Tyab's uh, one behind. Uh, no score yet from Hairstyle Karingal. I think the game should have been started by now. Um, Somerville 4-6-30 over Chelsea 3-2-20. Uh, Seaford uh, 4-2-26 over Crip Point 3-1-19. And Mornington in control against Rye 6-5-41. At two four sixteen into the latter part of the first quarter, and you know, th- you know, the issue with Rye, uh, sorry, not with Rye, with um, Tyab as well, is the fact that this is round five and this is their fourth game at home. Yeah, it is. And it is. They're and missing they, and opportunities. They still and they still and they, and they still haven't been able to bank a win so far. Yeah, look, I mean, I'll be interested to uh, uh, to get our great mate Aaron Pacey on the uh, on the Toe Pump Football Show, Vossi, because look, I mean, I know they've got a great supporter base down there, and Aaron Pacey earlier on in the year when we had him on, I think it was the first the first footy show that we had, uh, he said that memberships have gone through the roof as well, so you know, I'd like to think that, uh, that you know, a great great local football side and rich in heritage and, and whatnot, their, uh, their supporter base is really sticking by them uh, I'd like to think that's very much the case at every football club when they're when they're a little bit down, unlike myself with the Collingwood Football Club, I'm absolutely jumping off ship. Uh, come on, the D's. How, how, how do you think I feel, mate? I'm a North Melbourne supporter. <laughs> <sort of. laughs> yeah, what, what is the AFL score? Short, um, I nearly thought short pass there, Craig, eh? Oh, well, uh, give, me two, give me two seconds and um, I will tell you, Mr. Voss. So, John Boy, while you're bringing that up, Craig, oh, John Boy has been down with Rosebud as they're just breaking their huddle now to get into positions. Bomb Beach already in position. I don't think they would have had too much to say oh. there in Bomb Beach. Oh. That's the bad news. Uh, Gold Coast 5232, Collingwood 2719. Okay. And in the other game, it's Greater Western Sydney. So Giants are two, uh, sorry, 1814, Adelaide are 117, and Collingwood now up to 2820 for 5232. So. Um, you're not going to get anything out of me, Michael. And I, tip, I, I tip Collingwood today. Well, too I think you'd have to tip Collingwood, wouldn't you? I would have, I would have probably thought so down here, but uh, it's Gold Coast one and only game for the year. And there's there's our good mate Tangles. Tangles, how you going? Have a look at him. I haven't seen that bloke for a very, very, very long time. So there is uh, a very passionate Bomb Beach man. Um, we'll get to we'll get to John as soon as the, we get a break in play. Uh, just to let you know that um, the position in the play for this kick goes to all par fours, and the ball goes over the line and out of play. John, good good to come and give you that too. Last one player to rotation, gave away two goals from kickouts. Forwards were behind their defenders. Let's be aggressive this quarter with the wind. And second stoppage is our friend. Okay, so thank you for that, John. And uh, yeah, you pull up, you put, you put thumbs up, you pulled up right after the run. Yep, beautiful. After your health battle there a few months ago. So great to see. Here's an opportunity for Corrigan for Bomb Beach. Goes towards full forward. But standing in the way and taking the mark is the player in Jackson McRae, who will go back 
Jackson McRae's been good early. Long kick for Rose down the line towards Big Keegan. Down he goes up. Down he went up. Had the, had the, the sit but couldn't take the mark. Ball on the ground. Oh, God. That's an effort. That's an effort getting forward like that and just trying to feel like a teapot and it pulls right on the, the, my side, which is... Uh, Ball knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Umpire to throw it back oh. in. Just watch your phalange there, no, Michael. It's, no, no, it's pulling like right on my side. It's been a sporting injury I've had for a long time, and it's, uh, it's yeah, comes, comes and goes. Stoffel's going at it with Sam Gilbert. Good match up there. Gilbert goes in short towards the attacking 50. The ball will go towards the boundary line and goes over for a boundary throwing. So no change to the quarter time score. Still 4 7 31. Two minutes into the second quarter. Rosebud 1 1 7. And that's thanks to who, Michael? Uh, TV Magic and also Ray White Frankston. Scoreboard thanks to Ray White of Frankston. And Eliza Meats, that magnificent meat tray. Beautiful meat tray. Kevin Eli at Eliza Meats in Mount Eliza. Kevin, his lean team. Yep. Wonderful, wonderful meat tray that, and uh, <laughs> tell you what, you'll get no complaints, no complaints from anyone. I just, just wonder if our executive producer, I wonder whether Brian Stinger, when he got his, uh, when he got his meat tray, I wonder whether go around to his place and barbecue it up. I think Sus was he done that was the other day. That was the plan. I, I think, uh, I think he presented it at his house. So Sus probably had, a, 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 had some as well. Ball going out of bounds by Rosebud. Got to get back into it this quarter, Rosebud. Matty Baker standing on the mark. That man that we said earlier was very quiet. We've got a very strong wind here. It's probably four goals or so, and they need to need to make it count in this quarter short pass. Yeah, absolutely. Bomb Beach already with most of the play in the first few minutes, Michael. Long kick to half forward. Almost picked up there by Ted it was for the Rosebud side now. Oh, just the, just the, uh, the don't argue there by Mitch Gent. Now the ball comes over towards Gilbert. Sam Gilbert with the kick towards half forward. Drops a little bit short. Turning around on a 20 cent piece. And now kick in short. I think it was by Gil Renoufa. Went towards centre half forward. He was looking there for Hogan. But it went straight into the waiting arms oh, of, uh, no. of one of the coming boys. It's picked up now for the Bomb Beach side by Fisher. It was smothered off the boot. And the umpire says I'm going to ball it up. Speaking of Mr. Executive Producer, just giving us the thumbs up from the... Can you believe Lockie, did, Lockie uh, his son didn't know his nickname? Can you believe that? This what morning when I said what his nickname was? Nipples. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I'm not sure he'd be referring to himself as nipples when he's putting the bins out, bossy. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb Beach doing well in the early stages of this quarter. Four and a half minutes and Rosebud haven't, haven't uh, eaten into this gap at all. It's still 24 points. No, they need to get on the scoreboard right now. They if, certainly do. If they want to stay in this game, I know it's early to our listeners and our viewers, but if they want to stay in this game already, Bomb Beach with most of the play as the ball goes out of bounds. That was McDonald's on the Gilbert, wing. And I reckon that went to, yeah, Armitage was the player who had the ball, went to get on his left foot and he was bumped over the line. Jeez, young Liam Tidd playing on Sam Gilbert at the moment. That's, uh, of course, under-19s, Liam Tidd playing on an ex-AFL player. What an, an honour that would be. So... And Paul once again calls for a ball up. Bomb Beach just know this ground, obviously to home ground, they know this ground so well. They know we, we, where to defend. They know to sort of keep it out of the corridor, just take it around the wings, and it's a long way home here for Rosebud, and they don't really look like it at the moment. They just need something to inspire them. That Sarnas takes the ball over the line for a boundary throw-in right near where we're broadcasting this afternoon. Matthew Cummings just getting the job done in the ruck so far, I reckon, Vossi, as he's about to go up again. So throw up by the umpire. Knocked down by Cummings and knocked down again. Batsanis there. Mitch Gent, no, nah, that's holding the ball. It is. Well done, Batsanis. Just he applying pressure. Second effort after third effort after fourth. He tried to get around the tackle there. He tried to get through the tackle and tried to get on the boot and 
thought he would, after that don't argue a couple of minutes ago, he thought he was Superman, but... Mitch Gent just getting up a little bit sore, the trainer running to him, but he's given the okay. They found his kryptonite as the kick goes towards half forward and off the pack, and seeing the ball over the line there is... The golden fist applied there by Ben McLean for Bomb Beach, knocking the ball out of bounds. I thought I saw a 25 out there for Bomb Beach. Might have been 35, might have been Chapel. No, well, Chapel's just come off the ground. I reckon it was Chapel, actually, who took that ball over. So, boundary umpire to throw the ball back into play. Rosebud going to the scoring, and they've got a four-goal breeze, but they're down by four goals, and we're seven minutes into the second quarter. Batsanis tries to set it up towards full forward. Going up, no mark taken. Robbie Boss was tackled, and the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. It's a nice centering kick there by Batsanis, just looking for Tom Baker. But his opponent wearing him like a glove. Tom Baker hasn't got an inch. Ball wrapped up again in Rosebud's forward 50. Wrapped up by Nick Waterstone. It's been good early, Nick Waterstone. Ball comes out, goes to... Young Tyson Milne goes long kick down the wing side. Bit of a tussle, Rosebud with the ball now. Looking for the handball, Batsanis runs onto it. Not a clean pick up. Turnover, Bomb Beach running through the centre. Kick there by Verma. Shane McDonald now in the centre of the ground. Stacks on Shane, umpire to come in and throw it up. Two waiting to come on for Bomb Beach. Justin Bennett and Stamatis. Are you going to get back on? Quick kick for Bomb Beach forward towards half forward. Lockheed Gilwinoop just knocks the ball forward. He still putting the pressure on. He's taking the ball 25 metres backwards. That was good play by the, the forward to try and uh, do the defensive act there. Now on the right foot, a quick kick towards full forward. It's going to be marked in the square and it's going to be the easiest of goals. And did he take away a goal there on that occasion from the young fellow? I think that was Jason Tarter who might have had the shot, but uh, it's going to be a goal and it's a goal kicked by Joseph Fisher. So they have the first goal of the second quarter up to 5-7-37, Rosebud 1-1-7. One, one, You're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And we are back. Uh, back to you boys. Just having a look at some of the other scores happening around the place and just seeing if there's anything... Worthwhile there. Um, Karingal up by 43 points. Devon Meadows up by 32. Langwarren and Hastings. Hastings had come back. They kicked three goals and uh, ball, uh, marching back to a goal there at Hastings in favour of the Langwarren side, who still are undefeated at this stage, going into round five. Did we get a name on that bloke, by the way, last week? Short pass? And what bloke? The that? WA bloke for Langwarren. No, we still haven't. So there's a kick towards. Half forward, it's taken there by Waterstone. Gets the ball back, does Nick Waterstone. He goes towards centre half forward, or actually right half forward flank, off the pack. Hand pass to Dennis Lane. He goes on the right foot. He tries to snap it. That was a really good effort from a really tough angle and only just missed to the far side. John Anscow and just copping one in the guts there, a little bit winded. Slow to get up, but he's up now. He's okay. 5 8 38 plays 1 1 7. Rosebud undefeated coming into this game, but they are just not looking like it at this stage. They need a spark from somewhere. Here's an opportunity for them at the back. They get, get the ball and they can go. Just offer a, a shepherd. Now, that's sort of what the tackle was like last week, I reckon. The hand pass went out. The, the Mornington free kick that got him the win against Devon Meadows, and then he was tackled. The umpire let that play go, and I don't reckon it was a free kick last week, and it certainly wasn't then. Kick down towards centre wing, Casey. They're picking the ball up, getting it over towards Big Hogan, who goes towards half forward, and the ball trickles towards the line, and in fact stays in play. No, it doesn't. Over the line, left half forward. Frank, over near where the old interchange benches were. On the far side of the ground. Oh. So Cummings taking it out of the ruck. 
free kick being paid for dropping the ball. Always dangerous, especially when you grab it and you get tackled straight away. And Dilbert was the man who applied the tackle. So Sam Dilbert with the kick towards Mitch Gent. Set a half forward. Gent's had a good game so far. Goes towards Trent Dennis Lane, who takes the mark right half forward flank. Uh, he's tucked up oh, a few metres inside the boundary. So he's got a bit of open dull face, but it's uh, a very difficult kick this one. It's not the easiest kick at all. So, TDL, what can he do here? If anyone can do it, TDL can. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's uh, J Jari, Jari Kennedy there, I think his opponent. Just got a little bit lost there. TD able to run onto that. That's the shot. That's a good kick. It's That's a, a really good kick. good kick. He aimed it for the left post and it just held its line and then just brought it back just enough to put that through for a goal. So that's his second. And Rock Bomb Beach are doing this easily at the moment. They're up to six goals, eight, I think it is, six, eight, 44. Plays one, one, seven. And that is on the Ray White Frankston scoreboard. Bomb Beach kicking against the wind, something Rosebud were only able to do once. Rosebud yet to score in this quarter with the wind. So, some issues, I think, for Rosebud early. There's a few people down behind those goals, but that can be a very, very lonely existence down that end, uh, if, especially if you get a big win coming up this end of the ground. So, Bomb Beach doing all the attacking in the, in the second quarter. We'll get the inside 50s off you in a sec, Craig, eh? If you have them. If you have them. And, of course, special comments and stats coming to you thanks to Progress Signs today. Yes, just early in this uh, quarter... Uh uh, attacking 50s, uh, 2 to Bond Beach and 1 to Rosebud. Thanks, Craig O. Here's an opportunity for Gilbert on the left foot. Beautiful kick by Sam Gilbert inside. It actually dropped a little bit short. It looked like it was going to be an easy lead out there for, for Trent Dennis Lane. He got the ball over towards half forward, but they will get the ball back here, Rosebud, and they can bring the ball down the broadcast side. What can they do here? They've got the loose man created. There's uh, Tid with the ball. What can the young fella do? Goes towards half forward. Taking the mark there is Giant Ants on one handed. Goes towards full foot. They should kick a goal here. They really should get a goal. It's on the right foot. Reed Nance Cowan snap it goal to goal. They had two on one there and it had to be a goal and they, they scored a goal accordingly their short pass. Yeah, absolutely, Vossi. We, uh, we, we asked them, we put them to task. They needed to kick that goal and they did. Great little, um, great little balk here by Liam Tidd, the young fella finding. Uh, finding his, uh, his player there, able to result in a, a really good goal by Rose, but probably the best passage of play we've seen him, we've seen so far, I reckon. Ball back in the middle, Michael. Love warm weather short pass, love it. Yeah, it's sun's out, gun's out, Vossi. So, ball up. Back in the middle, Hogan beaten there by Cumming. Now the quick kick there for Rosebud out towards centre wing. Almost taking the ball there behind his back there on that occasion it was the uh, player in Tommy Stoffels, but it's been picked up there by Gilbert, gets the underground hand pass. He was looking there for Carter. Now the ball comes back towards Big Hogan, it goes towards Trent Dennis Lane, and that's a beautiful kick, and he's just so quick. Jari. Tell Jari you. Kennedy there looks very sore. I think he's done a hammy, Vossi. He, those first couple of yards when he leads, he just gains that space. No one can catch him. Jari Kennedy, mate, uh, for Rosebud, was on the chase there after Trent Dennis Lane and he's twinged a hammy there, grabbed the, grabbed the back of his leg. So Jari Kennedy in a lot of strife there for Rosebud, which is really going to hurt Rosebud. He's been good thus far, Jari. He's been taken off the ground, didn't come through the interchange, so he won't be returning. Netballers must have finished Vossi as they're walking under us. Smiles coming from the Rosebud camp. So was it another win for the Rosebud girls, the A division? A missed, uh, a missed a there. grade. Uh, of course, you did the interview with the captain, one of the sides there a couple of weeks no, ago. No, I did. Courtney McLennan. She was a star on the 
in a view too. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, she was a star. Do you reckon? Do you reckon we can? Uh, you, do, do you remember Full Frontal was a show? I do. Yep, do you very much so. Do you remember like Dana Reed doing the Netty show? Do you, remember, yeah. do you reckon we can get Talia doing yeah. something like that? <laughs> I've been in discussions with Tars to uh, to hopefully get some netball going again, and, and in fact, uh, uh, getting uh, Courtney from Rosebud involved in that as well, because I thought she was a bit of a superstar when we interviewed her. We miss you, Tars. Yeah, we do miss Tars. Great friend of RPP, of course, hosting the netball show on a Saturday morning. Ball goes out towards where Nick Jewell and the Rosebud interchange bench are, and the ball is going to be balled up. For those just joining us, Jari Kennedy, who was playing on Trent Dennis Lane, has gone down. Looks like a hammy grabbed the back of his thigh, which would suggest hamstring every day of the week. Ball punched over the line, out of bounds, wing position, right in front of our commentary position. By Ben McLean. And big Matthew Cumming, who's gone down forward. They need another target down there, and of course his brother, um, Steve, back on the ground and up in the ruck. Yeah, yeah. against big Tommy Hogan. <coughs> Good play there by Verma just to try and lock the ball down. Now Armitage with a hand pass towards the centre of the ground. He was looking there for Bennett, but it's going to be picked up there and now with the opportunity to go forward here for Rosebud. No talk. Zach Maynard was pinned in the centre of the ground. The ball does fall free. And it comes back Rosebud's way. Probably lucky Maynard didn't see the free kick there, but that just shows you that the confidence is lacking today because... In the first three weeks, I just would have said, you're hot, you're hot, you're yep. hot, and they didn't do it on that occasion. So, 6-9-45 plays 2-1-13, 18 minutes into the second quarter. Bond Beach well in control of this match. 15 shots to three is testament to that. And uh, we'll get some more scores from around the ground for you shortly. Ball over the other side of the ground. Rosebud's defensive 50. All right, sorry, sorry, attacking 50, I should say. What have we got? We've got Frankston Bombers, 14-34, Red Hill 2 straight. Dramana 8-11, Pines 3-5, Edifal 3-3, YCW 9-7, Mount Eliza 4-3, Sereno 7-4. And we'll get Division 2 in a moment. As the ball goes over once again for a boundary throwing. Craig, Division 2 scores when you got them? And that's, of course, thanks to Solar Heart around the grounds today. Yeah, um, Hastings now only two points behind Lang Warren, uh, 38 to 36. Um, Tybe have got a goal, uh, 1 4 10, Devon Meadows 5 7 37. Uh, Karinga well and truly in control over Pearsdale, uh, 9 5 59, 2 4 16, Pearsdale. Uh, we've got a score through from Somerville, 8 6 54 over Chelsea, 5 5 35. Uh, Seaford, 5 6 36 over Crip Point, 4 2 26. And Mornington, um, Almost 30 points in front of Rye, 9-9-63, to the Demons. It's a long kick. Very, very long kick with the wind at his back. No, uh, the if ball wasn't marked and knocked into the point post, so it's a boundary throw in Rosebud's end. Some interesting scores happening around the ground, Absolutely. short pass. Absolutely. Absolutely. The player that kicked that ball was Dale Marshall. It's a high kick for Bomb Beach out towards the half-back line and good defensive play there by Blake Kuipers. Kuipers, Quippers. Kuipers. We didn't quite get that last week. Well, and I got... Uh, We're in the number 56. It could, almost be it could also be Capers because there was a South African cricketer of the uh, early 90s, early to mid-90s, Adrian Caper, who was spelled K-U-I-P-E-R. Oh, so it could be. He was pronounced Capers, so it could be Capers. We might go with Capers, actually. Well, he's, he knows his caper around the footy. <laughs> boom, boom. Ball being molested over the line by Bomb Beach. Sam Gilbert, happy to see it over. I was, I was, just, I was listening to an ad on the radio today, and the, 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 ad, the, the first words in the ad were, what's a, what's a pirate's favourite cheese? Cheddar. Oh, you rate that, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, so sick, it's so sick, it's effective. <laughs> Ball going uh, out of bounds, deep. 
I like my dad jokes. In the forward 50, sorry, forward pocket four, Rosebud. It's just creeping around to the goals. Can I sniff something coming from Rosebud? They need something. As Keegan Downey's just come back on the ground, making his way to full forward. Tom Baker going up in the ruck. A quick snap out of the contest. Up high. Punched over the line. No. Oh, there's been a quick kick out of that pack going through for a minor. So there was something coming from that. Not what Rosebud wanted, though. Bomb Beach have been very, very effective coming out of their defensive 50. And on target was young Tyson Milne finding Shane McDonald. Shane McDonald looking down the line. He's quick to play on. Short kick, finding uh, didn't Waterstone. Take it. Didn't, didn't take, take it. it. Fumbled it across the line, out of bounds. Umpire to throw it back in. He knew it Waterstone too. just juggling it over. Geez, unlucky. If he had to just grasp that, then it would have been a good mark. Once again, Rosebud just need to stay in touch here. They just need to tighten up. They've been good coming out of stoppages, but Bomb Beach being very good. Batsanis with a high up and under. Looking for and not finding anyone in particular. Ball goes to ground. Waterstone after it again. So is Reed Nance Gowan with the ball at the moment. Long kick into forward 50. Corrigan for Bomb Beach just chopping it off. As Corrigan's wrapped up. Umpire to throw it up. Vossi, interesting. Just Rosebud inching forward again. They just haven't done enough this quarter. It was 4-7 at quarter time, so Bomb Beach have kicked 2-2 two, two and Rosebud have kicked 1-1 one, one this quarter. Ro Rosebud just haven't done enough this quarter and, and they're going to have to defend like their lives depend on it in the third quarter because they're going to face a very big lead going into half time it seems. Maynard was tackled, ball comes out, chance for McRae, high kick by Jackson McRae towards centre half forward. Ball falls into open space, there's a chance for Nance Cowan, Jai, he couldn't quite get control it, now he does, gets the quick kick but it was smothered and over the line goes the ball for a boundary throw in left forward pocket. Rosebud into attack, going to the club rooms, into the ground, and uh, a lot of cars here today. Yeah, a lot of cars. Of course, the netball is over to the left of your dial. Craigo so having something to say, we can't quite hear it. I was just uh, commenting that uh, Rosebud, I know, we're near the side we saw two weeks ago. No, no, it's very different. They are under attack by a very fierce Bomb Beach. Moving the ball exceptionally well as there's been a, a mark taken LAP on the wing is. by Dempster. LAP Dempster is talking about the Patterson River curse for Rosebud. Yeah. Shot at Dale is off target. Kicked by Dale Marshall. Very flashy boots. Should have kicked that. That theory of yours this morning didn't exactly work. It was, it was a Rosebud Rose Rose Bomb Beach game, wasn't it? Sort of Dramana beat B Bomb Beach. Yeah. Rosebud beat Dramana. Yeah. It's, not, it's not sort of working too much. No, really it's not, not, TV, it's not working at all at the moment. Still half to go. And they can they can get better here, but they just need need to get probably another goal at least before half time to sort of give them something going at half time. Oh, that's a throw. Oh, he's been pinged holding the ball. Yeah, well, it's a free kick either way. It so is, exactly. Chapel was the man who was... Oh, no. The man who gave away the free kick. They turned the ball over. He rose, Bud McDonald over towards his teammate there in coach. He goes inside looking for Trent Dennis Lane. It takes the mark off to the races, goes in the open goal and puts it through. And that's not what Rosebud needed. No, absolutely not. As you can hear, maybe on the sound effects mic, you might be able to hear the uh, Bomb Beach... Box just celebrating that goal. That was absolutely something for nothing there, created by Shane McDonald, of course. That's the man you want in the centre of the ground to feed your ball long. He does so, resulting in another Trent Dennis Lane goal, of course, kicking three before half time. Not a bad effort by TD, Bossy, and uh, Rosebud just regathering there in the centre. They need this. Centre clearance, Vossi, that's for sure. I reckon TDL's heard about the Eliza Meets Meat tray, and I reckon, <laughs> he's, I reckon he's going for <laughs> he's it. He's absolutely on song at the moment, but Sam Gilbert, what an honour to see him today. He's absolutely carving it up from every position of the ground and looking very, very fit. Dave Armitage, too, looks a treat. As the ball's wrapped up in the centre, Batsanis to get up. So coming, getting the ball down there for 
the Rosebud side. Stephen coming in the ruck. And the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. Steve coming uh, has a little bit of height on Waterstone or Wet Rock at the moment. As there's been a free plucked out of that contest, going to Rosebud for high, going to Cummings on Wet Rock. Quick hand pass. Long kick to centre half forward is knocked away. And an opportunity now for Armitage it was who got the ball away now the kick goes towards the centre of the ground almost uh, trying to bounce the ball up to himself a bit like a basketball style there was the player in Fisher quick kick for Bomb Beach towards centre half forward looking there for Shane McDonald this is where he's dangerous he, uh, he's not going to get to this one because he overran the ball I was about to say this is where he's dangerous inside 50 so a short pass comes out towards the half back line Rosebud under the absolute oh, Pump. Biggest of pressure at the moment. Yeah. They really are. They're trailing by 36 points and we're near on half time and Bomb Beach will have the wind in the third quarter and they might just get another one before half time here. This is a man who's had a good game so far, Mitch Gent as well. Yeah, Gent's had a great game. Just out on his own there, Vossi, just leaving Dale Marshall there. Which is not good footy. You can't do that when you when you're this far down. And that uh, that lady there, Courtney McLennan, just walking in front of us, of course, the captain. Thought it was her. She didn't look very happy. Maybe raised by Boss. Yeah, maybe they did lost. We might just... Um, where's John Boy? I don't know if John Boy can hear us. Might get some results up at the netball. There's a shot at goal. And that dropped short. There was two Rosebud players on the goal line and they knocked it through for a point. There was no Bomb Beach player there. That was interesting. So they just saw it was a fade of complete that Mitch Gent was going to get the distance. It was a question of accuracy. But 7-10 to 2-3. Ray White, Frankston, scoreboard. Rosebud with a convincing win, Vossi, in the A-grade netball, 56 to Bomb Beach, 23. Maybe she's just dirty on her own game, Courtney, but uh, no, she was a star a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully we can get her involved, as you indicated before. It's a kick towards attacking side of centre. It's, uh, I think that's Dil Renouf who's got it. He goes out towards his teammate there in Armitage. So David Armitage, the ex Kilda man. He goes in short, goes towards his teammate. They would have done that a few times yeah, these two. Yeah, they would have. Finding Sam Gilbert there. Sam Gilbert's going to go long. With a long kick. Looking for Trent Dennis Lane. Picked up by Rose, but I can't actually see that Vossi anymore. And I'm struggling as well, so, yeah. Just one of, one of those things here. Ball deep. Bomb Beach using their bench very well. Either yeah, the high using, rotations. They're using their bench very, very well. And I think... That's I probably think third or fourth time Shane McDonald's been off the I bench. Think Rosebud, I think Rosebud are struggling for rotations at the moment, Vossi. Having uh, Jari Kennedy go down with a hamstring. So they're one down. And if not, I think maybe two down. Uh, John Boy mentioned... Oh, God. My tipping's gone to absolute size in this round. I'm zero for three. GWS 6 11 47 Adelaide 2 2 14. And that is the half time siren here at Bomb Beach Recreational Reserve as we're watching a very uncharacteristic Rosebud team going down. Uh, well, at the half time break, that's, that's for sure. 7 11 53 plays 2 3 15. Vossi, we might take a quick break and we'll come back to you with a half time wrap. You are listening and watching the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. More and more people with a taste for quality are shopping at Eliza Meats. Kevin and his lean team pride themselves on the finest cuts. From juicy steaks and roasts to high-grade mince and sausages, and Eliza Meats are the gourmet specialists. Inquire about Eliza Meats Spithire for 9787 4473 for a mouth-watering meal fit for a king. It's all at Eliza Meats. See our sponsor Kevin at Eliza Meats, 112B Mount Eliza Way, a station sponsor. Chic is blending contemporary design and technological innovation into all of its televisions, fridges and freezers, meeting the lifestyle needs of all Australians. Did you know that Chic are exclusive television supplier to the Formula One Rolex Australian Grand Prix? 
From their Australian headquarters in Melbourne, she carefully select, import, market and sell products suited to Australian conditions. Chic are proud of their history. Just ask their millions of satisfied customers worldwide. Chic, a station sponsor. Brighton Auto is your Bayside and Peninsula automotive one-stop shop. This all-in-one award-winning Mitsubishi, MG and Sanyong dealership is also offering Holden certified parts and service. They have a huge range of new, demo and used vehicles plus factory trained service technicians. Your proud RPPFM station sponsor, Brighton Auto, will also ensure your dream car is well within reach and kept in great hands. Why not visit brightonauto.com.au or find them at 67 Nepean Highway, Elstonwick, LMCT 10680. New VFL competition is here. Hi, I'm Josh Newman, club captain at the Frankston Football Club. It's time to become a member for season 2021. Come and be a part of it as we join this new and highly competitive 22-team VFL competition. Take out a membership today and support Frankston and the Peninsula's premier standalone AFL team. We're pumped up and ready to play. Visit our website at www.frankstonfc.com.au today. Frankston Football Club, a station sponsor. Do you feel good about your bank? Because there is a bank you can feel good about. They share their profits to fund big community projects, small community clubs and vital emergency services. They've given $250 million to help Australian communities thrive. They have all the products and tech you expect from a big bank with service you don't. It's Bendigo Bank. Feel good about who you bank with. Try Bendigo. Search bendigobank.com today you or search Bendigo Bank near me. And welcome back to our live coverage of the uh, MPNFL this afternoon live from Bond Beach and Bond Beach in control over Rosebud at half time 7 11 53 to Rosebud's 2 3 15 and over to you short pass. Oh absolutely thanks uh, thanks for that Craig uh, joining me in now commentary position up in in the clouds uh, well she's uh, she's back on popular demand let me give you the red hot tip I uh, I I buried and, and scourged far and deep uh, to get some input from this young lady of course joining me today is uh, as courts for the uh, the captain <laughs> <laughs> the captain of uh, of rosebud a grade uh, courts welcome back mate thank you nice to be here yeah thank you uh, look you've uh, you tell the listeners i suppose that uh, you've just finished your game uh, how did that go please yeah, well, we got the four points. That's always good. We had a, a good win on the scoreboard. Um, I feel like it, we, we could have had a bigger win. Um, we didn't convert probably as many as we could have, should have. Yep. Um, but it was hot out there. Yeah. It was hot, so. You did mention that off air. You're a little, you, you seem a little bit disappointed. So, as a, I suppose, as a, as a player, you'd be happy with, the, like you said, the four points. But I think as the captain, you're just a, a little bit disappointed. You, you didn't convert like you would have wanted to have. What does that look like? Yeah, I, I mean, winning is is ultimately what we're there for. Yep. Um, but when you play your best, you walk away feeling like you have really earned the four points. And like I said, today was hot, but it was hot for the other team as well. So yeah. that's not really an excuse. Um Oh, I'm proud of my girls, but yeah, I just feel like we, we probably could have executed a little bit better yep. um, and converted probably a few more than we did. But and that's bon something we can work on. Yeah, exactly. Bomb Beach, how did, where do you see them sitting uh, this year so far? Uh, they Coming into the game today, they have had a few big losses. Um, they, they're a different team today. Yep. A, f a few regular faces, but they've actually recruited from, I think, a couple of ex Mount Eliza girls. Yep. Um, they were much stronger than what they were two years ago. Um, so, hold on to them. It's always good to come and have a good battle. Yep. Yep. Um, I mean, it's nice to sweep the floor, but <laughs> you also want to rock up and, and it'd be worthwhile. So well, you want to, you play competitive sport to be competitive and you yep. want to play the best. So, yeah. Um, you sound like you've done that today. Uh, we, we've just lost... Um, we've Don't just worry, I've remembered YC's on top, 82nd. <laughs> <laughs> well done to you. So, Rosebud, where are they sitting at the moment? Uh, we are, I think we're fifth on the ladder from memory. Um, obviously, that will have changed after today's games. Um, looking at a few of the games that have been played to date, um, Edie Asp, they're always a really strong club. 
right across the board from their A to their under-17s. Um, they're currently in the a on the A-grade ladder. They're sitting second. Um, they are just trailing behind YCW, who are a strong team from what I've heard. I mean, obviously we can say on the ladder that they are doing quite well so far. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited to come up against YC and see what they've got to put out there. ADS, uh, courts, they're not, they're not doing too well on the football field, but uh, the netballers are obviously going along very well, sitting just 1% behind uh, Frankston YC. So, oh geez, you, you know, <laughs> you want the football team to drink the same water as the netballers because uh, football for EDS just not going that well at the moment. Uh, Red Hill, of course, uh, their first season in, in uh, Divi 1, yeah. uh, sitting third on 150% going well yeah they are doing pretty well and i mean we don't know too much about them um, no. obviously the results um are, are proving that they're doing quite well at the moment so another team that we're pretty keen to come up against and see what they've got to put out there as well just trying to get some live scores up uh from around the grounds uh thanks to uh to solar heart uh look at you good man thank you is that uh, is <laughs> that's div two that, that's <laughs> div two but that's okay we'll move to div two in a second and court you i hope you've you've uh, scrubbed up on your div two or you've don't suppose oh, you probably nah, have to. Don't much. expect too much from me, <laughs> <today>. sorry. <laughs> That's okay, mate. We'll just fumble around. So just some live scores. Thanks there, Craigo. So, um, oh, how did you get those? I oh, can't that's a half-time score for Bombers. They were 41 um, up against Red Hill. Yeah, that Red Hill was 12. So who knows how that second yeah, half went. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not looking too promising for Red Hill. No, only some half-time scores coming through there. But I've got some full-time scores here, which is quite bizarre. Uh, of course, uh, round four, just double-checking. This is the netball, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at those going, mm, I'm not sure. Say, I'm maybe. not sure that <laughs> <laughs> it's half time. <laughs> that might be footy. So look from around the grounds, thanks to Solar Heart, uh, Dramana uh, going down to Pines. Pines, very, very strong uh, netball side, 83 to 45, almost doubling their score. Uh, EDS, oh, very close game there. Frankston YCW. Mm, there you go, scary. There you go, <laughs> unreal. So 48 played Edith Vale, Aspendale, 42. No scores from. Uh, Sorrento and Manalizer, but of course um, we have uh, courts here. The uh, the the captain of uh, <laughs> I don't know why I struggle with that. The captain of Rosebud Football Netball Club. Maybe because last time we were on air, called me the coach. I know, like three I times. know, three times. Where I keep doing <laughs> it. You'd think I've just been saying captain, captain, <laughs> captain, captain. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, 56 played 23. Uh, we don't. Um, Court, you, you're not uh, you're not au fait with the, the Division 2, but just bear with me for two seconds and we'll go through the Division 2 uh, netball. Uh, hopefully we have some results up there. So a few results coming through at the moment thanks to Solar Heart. Uh, so nothing from Tyab. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, Hastings, full-time at Hastings, uh, 49. Lang Warren defeating Hastings at home, uh, 30. Uh, we've got a score from uh, Chelsea Football uh, Netball Club, uh, Somerville, 54, uh, defeating Chelsea, 47. Uh, and, uh, oh, Mornington just getting the job done over Rye, uh, 49 to 41. And the latter looking like Lang Warren on top. Uh, on, 100, on 135, and then Chelsea uh, not far behind with uh, with the three wins. Uh, Lang Warren a game clear on top, and then Tyab, Pearsdale, Seaford, Crib Point, Hastings, Somerville, Mornington, Karingal, Rye, and Devon Meadows with uh, with uh, yet to notch a win. Uh, so we're just waiting on a few results from around the uh, from uh, from around the grounds. Thanks to uh, to Solar Heart. Uh, next week for you, Courts. How is that? Uh, how's that looking? Oh, we take on the Bombshells, Frankston Bombers at home. So at home it is. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I think we played them in a practice match uh, early on in the season, the preseason, and we beat them. But I think we only got up in the last quarter. Um, is preseason, so there's lots that you're working on at that yeah, point exactly. in time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly um, right. Look, we're just really hoping for a clean game. You know, the, the Bombers have a bit of a reputation for body on body, <laughs> yep. which I like. I like a, a, a tough game. Yep. It, it, there's a difference between tough and rough. Exactly right. So if we can just have a nice clean game, um, I think that, yeah, 
it's probably the first thing we're hoping for. And yep. then obviously to um, put it to them and take the four points. So a clean game necessarily means um, you know, clean possessions. And, and obviously, look, you, when, when it's not necessarily clean, you want to be able to uh, you want to be able to have some some experienced umpires there because what can sometimes come across as clean may not be clean. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, no tunneling, no tripping, no things like that. Yeah. We'll be pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, of course, uh, you've been put on notice, Frankston Bombers, by uh, by our great mate that, here. <laughs> that could come back to bite. <laughs> <couldn't laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tell you, mate, that no one listens, but they actually do. I yeah, found that no. out a little while ago. <laughs> we might be a little, but uh, there are people out there listening. Uh, well, mate, thanks again for joining us. Uh, we we do want you to become a regular when we when we when we can. You have lit up the uh, the uh, the bandwidth, which oh, is really? which is fantastic. So it's always a pleasure to talk netball. We don't talk enough about it. Yep. Um, I personally am a huge fan of netball. It plays uh, under 17s, first year under 17s. Oh, good. Uh, so. Um, so I'm, I'm a netball dad. I'm a netball <laughs> dad tragic. So, uh, you know. Do you know what netball dads are like? <laughs> How much of a netball dad are you? Yeah, well, I've cut oranges. <laughs> I've uh, bought snakes. I've, uh, I've been the, uh, the club president. I've been the association secretary and treasurer. So You I, have fully immersed <laughs> yourself. I have. You I have. Well, look, mate, I've, you know, when you're down there, uh, you might as well be doing something. So, Absolutely. you know, we all rely on volunteers and uh, every code of sport's no different. So thanks again for joining us. You're Thank a jet. You. Uh, we love having you here. Go and uh, have a well-deserved spell. You're, you look like you're sticking around because hubby's running water for Rosebud this year, so yeah. you won't be going too far. No, no. Hopefully the kids <laughs> are just playing down there in the park, uh, just looking looking after themselves, or hopefully be someone oh, looking no. after we're, them. We're a great family. <laughs> we're, we're a family oriented club. So yeah, yeah. Of oh, Someone's got them at home. <laughs> Someone from our club has them, I hope. Who knows? Uh, we might throw to a, a quick break, Craig, and we'll be back uh, with the football commentary team and uh, we'll just give you a quick little wrap-up before the before the last half of action starts. You are listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. Oh, the Frankston boys are happy. The new VFL competition is here. Hi, I'm Josh Newman, club captain at the Frankston Football Club. It's time to become a member for season 2021. Come and be a part of it as we join this new and highly competitive 22-team VFL competition. Take out a membership today and support Frankston and the Peninsula's premier standalone AFL team. We're pumped up and ready to play. Visit our website at www.frankstonfc.com.au today. Frankston Football Club, a station sponsor. Do you feel good about your bank? Because there is a bank you can feel good about. They share their profits to fund big community projects, small community clubs and vital emergency services. They've given $250 million to help Australian communities thrive. They have all the products and tech you expect from a big bank with service you don't. It's Bendigo Bank. Feel good about who you bank with. Try Bendigo. Search bendigobank.com.au or search Bendigo Bank near me. At Crittenden Estate, we've been working hard to improve our soil health through composting and inter-row cover crops. Our inspiration was originally to improve the quality of our wines, but we've also been inspired by the benefits our endeavours have contributed to the local environment and community. So it's not surprising that we're delighted to have our efforts recognised by being named the overall platinum winner for the 2020 American Brit Award for Sustainability in Wine Growing. We hope that you can share our passion by enjoying a glass of our wine, either at our beautiful cellar door or at one of our fantastic local restaurants, cafes or bars. Our cellar door is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. and we'd love to have you pay us a visit. A station sponsor. More and more people with a taste for quality are shopping at Eliza Meats. Kevin and his lean team pride themselves on the finest cuts. From juicy steaks and roasts to high-grade mince and sausages, and Eliza Meats are the gourmet specialists. Inquire about Eliza Meats Spithire by 9787 4473 for a mouth-watering meal fit for a king. It's all at Eliza Meats. See our sponsor Kevin at Eliza Meats, 112B Mount Eliza Way, 
a station sponsor. And you are listening and watching on the various streams our coverage of the MPNFL on RWPFM and uh, this afternoon we're at Bond Beach for the clash between uh, Bond Beach and Rosebud. A uh, halftime score, 7-11-53 uh, to Bond Beach, Rosebud 2-3-15. John will have these scores from around the grounds at the moment, but uh, Vossi teams are getting ready for the second, uh, third quarter. They are indeed. Giants up by 32 points. I'm 0 for 3 in the NFL tipping. I'm flying this round. Uh, yes. <laughs> How's one going, Adam? Yeah. Well, I've, I've just been asked that, mate, and uh, I don't think anyone really Two cares. goals behind. Two yeah. goals behind the pies. Four oh. points, mate. Four points behind. Four points, four actually, points right? behind. Four points. So four points behind. Of course, uh, the man standing in front of us, you can't see him on screen at the moment because he's, well, he's... He's a bit of a crack-up, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's a bit of a crack up, but my boy, um, well, not my boy, but um, well, he's he's like my boy, my nephew, Lockie Kelly, uh, just uh, taking the year off to enjoy his new hobby, which is um, which is getting on stage, and uh, just uh, you know the, the night scene, a uh, little bit of cross dressing, and no, no, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking the pick one double S, not that uh, you know if that's if that's what if you want to go and do. If then that's what you want to do. You that's do what it. You, no, but no, his new hobby is uh, camping. He loves um he's he's got the camping bug. So every other weekend he's out camping and with his with his lovely partner. Uh, and uh, just enjoying being you know 25, 26. So good on him and uh, he's. You know, taking a step away from football, which is which is not a bad thing. But uh, who knows what's going to happen next year, folks? Vossi, what needs to happen as the umpire holds the ball aloft? I'm going to say that Rosebud need to kick a goal right now if they're any chance. 38 points behind as we start the third quarter. And Rich Gent gets the ball out of the centre for Bomb Beach, goes towards half forward. He was looking there for Fisher, but the ball bounced in front of him now. Smothered kick and the ball rebounds back inside, attacking 50 here for Bomb Beach. They might get an early score here. That's throwing the ball. Trent Denison received the ball, but it was a throw. So the umpire says, I'm going to give a free kick here to Rosebud. Rosebud have got to somehow, and I mean somehow, get onto the board and just try They've got to try and win this quarter. Yeah, they do. And coming they home with a win in the last do. quarter, and then they might have a chance. But if they get within four goals, they're a chance going to the last quarter. Oh. That's almost out in the full. That is yeah, out in the no, full. Yeah, well called there by the umpire. We're about a minute into the third quarter and young, no change to the half-time score. Young Reed Nance going, just going up with the, with the pack then. Unlucky to take that mark. Armitage a hand pass, and now the ball is on the boot of Coates, who went in short. Couldn't hit the target there, so the ball picked up there by, that was uh, Capers there for the Rosebud side. What's he, what's he doing? What's he doing saying we need more oomph in it, or what's he saying? I'm not sure what he's saying. He's um, just get back in your van. Nipples. Executive producer. Nipples. It's where you do your best work, mate, in the van, as your son said this morning. Coming just tried to lay a tackle there, lost sight of the ball. Went past him, might have gone through his legs, and the umpire says I'm going to ball it up once again. Left half forward here for Bond Beach, who lead by 38 points. And doing it very, very nicely as Armitage just uh, evades a tackle, just uh, got the arms around twice here. Now the quick kick goes towards full forward. Off the pack goes the ball. Still an opportunity on the right foot. A snap at goal is off target and that is out of play and that was a terrible kick there by Jack Sullivan. Um, we might get you to run through those half times or those uh, up to date scores, uh, Craig, as uh, we, we start the... Oh, John's going to do it. Okay, sorry. Sorry, John, you got some scores here for us. Division 1 or 2 you got there? Uh, I've got Div 2 here, mate. Okay, what's what's happening in Division 2? Uh, Lang Warren 62, Hastings 36, uh, uh, Tyab 22, Meadows 44, PSL 49, Keringle 82, uh, Chelsea 42, Summy 55, Seaford 52, Cribby 22, mm. uh, look away Adam, uh, Mornington 63, De Rye 35. Oh, Struth, Mornington have turned up at home. That's good. Uh, bomb, uh, bombers 41, Red Hill 12. Oh, Struth. Germana 78, De Pines 38. Oh, yes. Uh, YC just cruising up the road yeah. there, 81 to 35. Oh, wow. Who's that against, please, John Boy? Uh, Edie Asp. Edie Asp. 
And Sharks, 52, Red Legs, 39. Mm. You mentioned your daughter there to to uh, to court there before. What position is she playing out there at the moment? Uh, she plays. She's a uh, she's an all rounder, mate. So she plays goal defence, uh, wing defence, centre. Uh, she's a, definitely a defensive player, but she's um, mate. She's a great runner in centre and uh, just a prolific ball user in goal defence. Really knows her opposition. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of netball, but I do watch it. And uh, oh, especially in Commonwealth Games time, I and I absolutely I'd love the game of netball. Is it, goal, is it goal, a goal shooter and wing attacker, the two that can go inside the circle, isn't it? No, so it's goal shooter and goal keeper. Wing attack, can they can they shoot as well? No, they can't. So no, it's not goal keeper. It's goal shooter and goal attack. Goal My attack. Apologies. That's what I was looking for. There's yeah. a kick, a goal, and there is a goal, and that is a goal for Rosebud. They took the ball the length of the ground as we. Just making sure we'll just confirm that goal kicker there. I think that's Tiddy, isn't it? Liam 41. Tidd. Okay, Liam Tid was the player was the player who kicked the goal. So that is a good start for Rosebud in the third quarter. They've kicked the goal inside the first five minutes. And sorry to our listeners, we're just getting a little bit carried away with uh, netball, but it does need to be celebrated as uh, as netball clubs are attached to football clubs and uh, are uh, an integral part of a football club. So uh, if you do enjoy a game of netball, make sure you get down and uh, watch the girls. Uh, they are super impressive and a great brand of, of netball is played at, at football clubs. Don't you worry about that. And thanks to, thanks to Courtney for coming up here and having a chat to us. Yeah, absolutely. Courtney from uh, Rosebud Football Club, uh, Football Netball Club, playing uh, A-grade. She's the A-grade uh, captain, of course. Long kick to full forward off the pack. And it's going oh, to be no, no, no yeah, it's going to be a free kick. No, nah, good, good call there by the umpire. Just uh, taking a couple of steps with the ball there was uh, was Lockie Gill Renouf and just getting caught. Great chase down there, desperation footy by Rosebud at the moment in their uh, defensive fifty. Yeah, they realise this is the quarter they have to work very, very hard. Coming goes up. Great punch there by Tom, Big Tommy Quick Hogan. Kick by Downey, it was Keegan towards half forward, or the half back, I should say. It's picked up by Armitage, who goes to full forward. Dennis Lane goes back, couldn't take it with one hand. The ball swept through for a behind. So, second efforts there, Dale Marshall. You're on notice, mate. I'm going to watch you. That was pretty poor against uh, Armitage there, as that man there, as I just mentioned, marks the ball. He's off. Jets are burning. Quick kick. Finding Liam Tidd, great mark on the tit, quick to play on, finding his teammate there, can't quite pick that up, going down the line to try and look for Cummings, Cummings just falling short, turnover there by Bomb Beach, Bomb Beach going back down the line, quick kick, finding targets everywhere is Bomb Beach at the moment as there's a 20 metre carry, handball, long handball, finding Tyson of the Milne variety that is. Great turnover there by Rosebud in their defensive 50. This is what this is the Rosebud team that uh, that we've known to watch in the last few weeks. Vossi, just quick turnover, changing that momentum as the ball has been called out of bounds. Umpire to bring it back. So good, good play there by Rosebud, but then just falling short again at that half forward line. Another turnover, resulting in a slingshot back from Bomb Beach and then the pressure being placed back on Rosebud. As yeah. the umpire throws the ball back in, Vossi. Greg Bentley. Yeah, it is. That's why we haven't seen him, Vossi, because he's not playing Greg Bentley for Rosebud. Oh, he, he played. He got a possession in the first oh, he quarter. Did, he, did, he? He, he did. But he's he did. wearing civvy, so that's why they're down rotations. They're down two. They're because, down two uh, rotations. Jari, Jari Kennedy. Kennedy off yeah. with a hamstring. And Greg Bentley walking past in civvies past us, mate. So he's another one. So that's why Rosebud are absolutely struggling at the moment. They're down to two rotations and why they're all looking very cooked. But they're warm day. It looks like there has been... No, it's going to be a ball up. No, sorry, a throw in from the Rosebuds def attacking 50. On a warm day too. You Very don't really warm, want no, exactly. That's what really I mean. You don't really want the low rotations to, to have. You've got two players there. Not the ideal situation for them. They're hanging in this third quarter. They've kicked the only goal. So they've just got to try and keep going and try and get another 
Try and get another couple on the board, get themselves back into this game. Margin 33 points. It's not out of the reach. No, look, it's not out of reach. They're going to kick with the wind coming home. I think the uh, I think the message at half time by Nick Jewell would have been uh, they need they ca they can't concede right now. So they if they need to apply scoreboard pressure, but they, at the same time they need to stop Bomb Beach from scoring with the wind uh, for th for them to be any chance for the four points at the end. Vossi, I think. But Sarnas on centre wing. Takes a free kick. It's going to be a... If Rosebud do happen to get up, I don't know if it's likely from here, but if they do, and I'm not putting the moz on them, I'm not calling the game, but it'll be a gallant win if they do. Two oh, rotations down. This is a test of, uh, of their character to see to see what they've got in the, in the, the ticket apartment, uh, whether they can uh, challenge a side away from home. Two injuries down as hard as it is. They've just got to try and battle on and just see how they go. They've got the hand pass there and they can get out of trouble. That was Husswait and a hand pass it was towards Baker who goes out towards the centre wing. Now they can go forward. I think the player might have tripped himself there, but he's going to get a free kick. And yeah. who did you say 42 was? Uh, 42 oh, is Lockie Arms. That's strong. right. Lockie, uh, Lockie Strong Arms, as, uh, as your nephew likes to call yes. him. As kick goes towards full forward off the pack. Bomb Beach will clear a hand pass. Ducking the tackle there was Luke Verma. Goes towards the centre of the ground. Picking the ball up there was Braden Chapel, who gets the ball over towards his teammate there. He takes the mark, and that is Jack Sullivan in the centre of the ground, pushing out towards the right wing. He will go with the free hand pass over the top towards Mitch Gent, who gets a hand pass back towards Sullivan. Runs to 50, gets a hand pass over the top. Need another one here, Carter to Dennis Lane. Trent no. Dennis Lane into the open goal. He was tackled or he fell over. It might have been a bit of both. Gets the ball back. The snap at goal is a goal. And it's been put through finally by Sullivan. 8 12 60 plays 3 1 19. You're listening and watching RWPFM, PFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to warm out your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then talk to TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. TV Magic are your local TV and antenna specialists. We look after everything. TV, home theatre, satellite, plus all electrical work. Visit us at tvmagic.com.au or contact Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic. We make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And as we come back, uh, Collingwood uh, are 10 points down, 20 minutes into the third quarter, and uh, it's one minute into the third quarter, and GWS, uh, what, uh, 22 points up uh, on uh, Adelaide Crows, boys. It would be 32. Sorry, 32. That's all right. That's all right, Trago. The, you eye, the eyes are bad. That's all right. Even with glasses. That's all right. So Trent Dennis Lane, he'll keep the ball in play. He'll snap it down and he'll put it through. Rosebud player thought it might have been out, but yeah, not to be. Coop, Cooper's there uh, just just begging for a boundary call there. Uh, umpire was very, very far behind. Uh, and unfortunately, he was too busy arguing with the, uh, the the boundary umpire there that Trent Dennis Lane was able to play on, uh, wheeled around and, and kick a snap. Ah, oh, Struth, it's just uh, Trent Dennis Lane there kicking his fourth for the day too, Vossi. Yeah, well, another another two or three just might be the man for the yeah, Eliza Meets well, Metro. Ab absolutely, mate. Well, what do you call a bag? What do you call a bag, Vossi? Oh, six, six plus? Six plus. I call a bag six plus as well, so we're on the same page there. Good tackle applied on Robbie Boss and... He's uh, playing a different role today, playing a little bit forward, and he was also in the midfield there. T got tackled, ball thrown up once again, coming the ball down. Bomb Beach just uh, just thinking then they're as good as what they're uh, what they're um, what all the talk of the town is. They are very 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 good indeed. Rosebud just struggling. I've noticed. Um, I've noticed Vossi Matthew coming when he's down forward. Uh, he's bringing the ball to ground every time for Rosebud, and unfortunately, there's no there's no one at his feet, uh, which is creating a real issue. As Sam Armitage, uh, sorry, Sam Gilbert lines up and goes bang from about 55. Really, just making it hurt for the Rosebud Football Club. You are listening and watching the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor.
And you are listening to our coverage on RWPFM of the match between Bond Beach and Rosebud. A big uh, hello, boys, this afternoon to uh, the Mornington Peninsula News Group who are joining us on our uh, platform this afternoon. And apparently we've got 300-plus uh, people watching through that uh, service today. Oh, absolutely. And uh, we welcome Mornington Peninsula News Group, uh, a community newspaper like us, a community radio station. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a relationship I've been pushing for a long time and uh, they're a great news group covering everything uh, everything local. May it be the start of a long and fruitful relationship with Do our great station. Absolutely, as we're... Uh, I think that's uh, Jari Kennedy just about to come by us, I think, isn't it? Uh, on, on crutches. On crutches. Not great. He's very, very, very sore. Is Jari? They're on crutches. You're right. Nah. 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 He's not. He's not good. The great man. Oh, look at this. There's a long kick by Dan Scow and John Scow towards boy. half forward. You did stuff your face while I call the footy. So. Oh, struth. That's it. I tell you what. It's an absolute smorgasbord of food there. Absolute huge plate. So uh, big job. Good job there. Their, uh, their lock on that one. Long kick down the line towards Hogan at half forward. He's got it 60 metres out. He goes to Dennis Lane once again. He goes up against two. He will get um, the tackle on, but no free kick. Comes towards Big Cumming. Doesn't know what to do with it. Doesn't want to kick it. Long kick out of defence there, and it goes towards the line, and it will stay in play, will it? It has stayed in play, amazingly there. It was Mitch Dempster who got the kick away and they were actually calling for uh, the supporters over the other side were actually calling for deliberate and the ball just kept running around the line and making sure that the ball actually stayed in play so ball back at half 40 for oh boy boy oh boy thanks wow, Craig. Oh, we've uh, we've been we've been uh, just looked after here at Bomb Beach it's uh, I said it this morning on the Toe Pump football show and uh, look it's just an honour to come to these football clubs and be looked after as well as what we do uh, we've been brought up a, a beautiful spread of uh, hot and cold food uh, but just on on the football Vossi uh, the uh, some talk coming from the uh, the Rosebud bench so Jari, Jari Kennedy, I was just talking to uh, as he walked past us, mate. It, it is not good for him. Uh, he had trouble taking off his boot. Uh, he was in that much pain. So uh, as uh, Bomb Beach just kick another goal during my talk, kicked there by by uh, Dave Armitage there, uh, just to absolutely, well, almost put the nail in the coffin, mate. You would say, wouldn't you, Fossey? Yeah, I, might, I might just, I might just, just, uh, uh, just sneak a little sausage roll there, mate. Absolutely, uh, Craigo, help yourself, mate. Uh, but where was I? So uh, yeah, so Jari Kennedy there, really struggling. Uh, it looks like he's torn the hamstring off the bone. Of course, scans haven't confirmed that. That's just me making assumptions. In, uh, but it went uh, absolutely twang, and apparently it may have been heard from the boundary uh, as it went twang. So uh, he's in a, 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 an absolute amount of strife and uh and bentley big bentley he's uh he's just had a little tweak so with his history of uh of hamstrings vossi it uh they've they've decided to take him off uh just just for precau pre precautionary reasons as you uh just clean that uh, sausage roll from your gums and yeah, mate uh, just a little update from the ep uh mcdonald off for bond beach with a hamstring issue as well he won't be back Oh, wow, we thank you, Craigo. And of course, those coming to you thanks to uh, Progress Signs. I'm back, I'm back in the game now, you are. and you're not, so. <laughs> so, score here 17 and a half minutes in the third quarter. It's 11 12 78. Right, Bomb Beach, Rosebud 3 3 21. So, Bomb Beach absolutely doing it on the bit this afternoon, and they're back in form. The side that, that the most. Sprint side, if you like, in the off season, and great. rightfully so too, Vossi. When you've got the likes of Sam Gilbert and David Armitage and and Trent, you know, Trent Dennis Lane, uh, you know, you've got the son of uh, Tyson Milne playing at the uh, no, sorry, the son of uh, the Tip Rat in Tyson Milne. Beautiful kick, Gilbert towards Dennis Lane, and Trent Dennis Lane is going for goal number five, and he will have a shot from left half forward. How good would it be if you were Trent Dennis Lane there, just uh, just getting one laced out from uh, Sam Gilbert? 
Yeah, no, it, just, it was just, he knew exactly where Gilbert was going to go. He just led into the space, and there was plenty of space. And Trent Dennis Lane will go back and try and kick goal number five and goal number 12 for Bond Beach. He goes back. He has the shot. He aims at the right post. He hits the top of the right post. Went over, to, went over to get a drink before at half time. There was about 20 in the line. It's like, no, nah, that's not going to work. So it was uh, it's one of those warm days this afternoon, an uncustomly warm day here at Bomb Beach this afternoon, first day of May. Warm tomorrow. Long kick towards half forward. Ball picked up there by Sullivan. Good tackle applied there by Kremich. Picked up by Gilbert. Kick towards the pocket. He's looking there and finding not quite. He didn't quite take the mark there was the player in Gil Renouf. Ball over the line. And tomorrow I'm going to watch uh, the Peninsula Raiders play at Alexandra Park tomorrow in the Super Rules. They're playing Beaconsfield. They start at 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, games right throughout the afternoon until I think about 3 o'clock the Supers start tomorrow. So looking forward to that. I'll be the timekeeper down there tomorrow. Do my own thing in the timekeeper's box. and uh, you, um, you absolutely get behind the Raiders, don't you, Michael? I really do, yeah, I really do. So, uh, lo lovely bunch of people. Got it, uh, Been involved with them now for a long time, probably 15 or so years. And, you yeah, know, nah, really, really lovely people. To, wouldn't know what to do with myself on a Wednesday night, to be perfectly honest. Otherwise, during the football season, I'm talking. Got some free kick. Got some scores, uh, if you like, from uh, the uh, Division 2. Uh, Lang Warren... Uh, 78 over Hastings, 37. Uh, Devon Meadows, 57. Tie up, 22. Three goals, four for tie up today. Uh, Keringle, uh, 102 to Pearsdale, 74. It's 55 all between Somerville and Chelsea. Uh, Seaford, 91. Crip Point, 39. And uh, Mornington in control over Rye, 91 to 55. 55 I'll, I'll just tell you, Ricky Johnson's playing this year for the uh, for the Raiders. Um, Michael Dillon, who played at uh, Red Hill, of course. He's playing at the Raiders. Scott Pickers, Gil Jarrett Smith, ex tire boys. They're playing at the Raiders. They've got a few new faces to the club. A lot of new faces, in actual fact. And they're looking strong at the moment with numbers. About 130 registered players at the moment at the Raiders. Geez, I'd be lucky to have Ricky, Ricky J down there. He's a beautiful kick, Ricky J, on his day, I tell you. Absolutely lovely bloke, too. Great fan of RPP and what we do here. Took the words right out of my mouth. You should write a song about that. You took the words right out of my mouth. That'll be a that'll be a breaker on the uh, on the that'll be a social media breaker on the uh, on online this week. Me trying to sing. Very poor effort, but that's fine. Along with you getting up the ladder, maybe we could uh, maybe we could cut that my video of you coming up the ladder to uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Gilbert gets a quick kick for Bond Beach towards centre half forward. That's probably the hardest spot on the ground because it's where the cricket pitches are. The ball is going to be overrun by Hogan. He still applies the pressure. The ball comes back. That was Gent over the top towards Dennis Lane who went in short. Sorry, that sausage roll still uh, right at the back of my throat actually. <laughs> Just struggling there a little bit, Michael Voss. Got it. Oh, you got it? Yep. Uh, I, think, I think everyone heard it too. That's sorry. Sorry, listeners. But uh, Sullivan with the ball. So, an opportunity here for him to kick his second goal. He has the shot. Rocky Gilrenouf went up at the back but couldn't take the mark. Ball goes off the, line, off the pack and over the line from behind. What do Rose up to 11, 14, 80, Rosebud 3, 3, 21. What do Rosebud need to do here, Vossi? Try and take something out of the game, and it's been a horrendous day for him, obviously, with the injuries to Kennedy and to Bentley. But they just need something, just a positive, win the last quarter, take something into next week. It's a day they'd rather forget, and it's uh, obviously it's, they've come up to... To Bomb Beach. This was always going to. We said on the footy show this morning, mate. This was always going to be the test for them, uh, Bomb Beach. They were always going to come back fighting after the loss against Dramana last week. They've come out and proved that they're they're better than that, and uh, have just smacked Rosebud about. Robbie Boss goes inside, attacking 50. That's a good strong. If that's a mark, that's a really good mark, and it's been taken there by Tom Baker. Big Tommy Baker, the first... 35 out directly in front. I think it's his first P today too, Vossi. 
He needs to go back and seal this. He's not known for his set shots in front of goal. So I hope I'm wrong, and I hope he can slot this through for Rosebud. Tramana 17-14, Rapines 8 goals, 5. So Tramana back in form today, short pass. Absolutely. Thanks to Solarheart there. Around the grounds. Yes, so Baker, Tom, shot at goal. High kick. That's a good goal. That's Straight good through goal. the hay diddle diddle. That's better. That's much better from Rosebud. Bringing the score to Vossi. I can't quite, if you can. 11, 14, 80, plays 4, 3, 27. And we've played about 22, 23 minutes in this third quarter. We're live here thanks to TV Magic. You are listening and watching the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to warm out your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then talk to TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. TV Magic are your local TV and antenna specialists. We look after everything. TV, home theatre, satellite, plus all electrical work. Visit us at tvmagic.com.au or contact Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic. We make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And just a quick update uh, on uh, Division 1 scores for you. Uh, Frankston Bombers uh, 64, Red Hill 25. Uh, we've got uh, Dramana well in control of, over the Pines, 116 to 53. Uh, Frankston YC, but W105, EDS 57. Um, Mount Eliza 61, Sorrento 52. Uh, and of course, Bond Beach in control here, um, 82 and 27. I reckon the food's been in here 10 minutes. I reckon nine and a half minutes. I reckon Short Pass has had food in his gob. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> it's very good food, by the way. Very good food. You say that when I've got my mouth full. Yeah, that's I'd the, the idea. out of a low-flying duck. Oh, I'm hungry. Stenning. And have a go at you, bloody talking about food. Bloody hell. Oh. I'm not as good on the fang as I used to be, to be perfectly honest. I'll beg to differ. How many egg and bacons did you have from the canteen to walk in here? One. One. Oh, lack of lack of match day fitness. Test, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to um, <laughs> fitness test for next week. You reckon, Grego? <laughs> I think so. We'll have to uh, just in a lull of the game at some point, Bossy. We'll have to get your your thoughts on that egg and bacon, please. Actually, why not take the time now? Uh, uh, what was the roll like? Uh, the, roll, the, roll, the, roll, the roll was the roll was fresh. I'd say the rosebud have got them at this stage on the on the egg and bacon roll stage. Okay. Put it that way. So egg runny, hard. Uh, bacon a little bacon a little bit crisp. A little bit crisp. Little plenty bit crisp. of. Yeah, it was, there was plenty of bacon. That's okay, for sure. Good, so that's no, it was good. it was good. It was good. It just wasn't as good as the one I had a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I've got good. to say rosebud are in front on that steak at the moment. Very good. That's just personal preference, a personal opinion, I should say, personal not personal preference. Personal because opinion, well, it's personal preference how yeah. to how you like egg and bacon. Exactly right. Some don't like a runny egg because the egg pops and it runs down all your shirt and your and chin. And done a few times. And uh, when you've got a big red beard like I do, it goes all in your beard and looks absolutely disgusting and it sets and goes hard and I'll just leave it there. Tell you what, just looking down at some of those uh, faces on the Bomb Beach bench, very experienced uh, few people they've got down there. Brett Dunn, who's been a coach, uh, among the others down there. So they've got a very, very experienced lot down there. That is going to be a ball up. Left half forward here for Bomb Beach. We're 27 minutes into the third quarter. Bomb Beach are 11, 14, 80. Rose, but a 4, 3, 27. It's on the Ray White Frankston scoreboard. And just a reminder tonight, live at 7 o'clock. I believe we're on at 7, or maybe just before 7 in actual fact. As Gilbert goes at goal and bounces through for a behind. So 11, 15, 81 to 4, 3, 27. Tonight live, the Dolphins playing Aspley. And uh, I think it's Tom Payne or Matt Payne. Tom Payne. There's a, ex, uh, local, there's a local presence in there tonight for Aspley. And uh, Ryan Bastanak, who used to play for North Melbourne, of course. He is, and he played at Gold Coast as well. So he will be playing tonight. And Frankston looking for three in a row. As the kick goes towards half foot, it's going to be a free kick for over the shoulder. Oh. It's going to go to Waterstone. And just a little lad, gentlemen, uh, Aspley's my old stamping ground in Brisbane, but it's also the home of Greg Norman. Ah. Greg Norman went to Aspley High. Anyway, Pro anyway, go with the uh, the fun facts yeah. here at uh, RPP 10 to 4. How do you reckon the Sharks travelling at this stage, Craig? Fun facts with I, I think they've been fantastic today. 
Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Uh, oh, the great white variety. Eddie, Rick, Eddie reckon he's been. Eddie reckon he's been going there. He's uh, the only two or three times we've heard him on the news recently. He's been showing off bits of his body. Mate, he's well, he doesn't eat anything white. Apparently, he's elite. He's, he's, elite. he's a very, very fit, fit man for sixty-two. I think he is now. Oh, look at this! Just massage back. Oh, of course that kick going from about forty-five out. Sullivan, not the biggest. Biggest kick, but no. he, it was it was actually it was actually a good kick. He aimed it out right, and it, it came did back. It just just he worked it, just left a little bit of right to left there, Vossi. That Sarnas goes in the left pocket. There's three quarter time. So at three quarter time in the match of the day, it is a fifty-four point lead to Bond Beach, 11 15 81 Rose, but four goals, three twenty-seven. Thanks to TV Magic, you're listening and watching RWP, the voice of Peninsula football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to warm out your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then talk to TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. TV Magic are your local TV and antenna specialists. We look after everything. TV, home theatre, satellite, plus all electrical work. Visit us at tvmagic.com.au or contact Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic. We make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. More and more people with a taste for quality are shopping at Eliza Meats. Kevin and his lean team pride themselves on the finest cuts. From juicy steaks and roasts to high-grade mince and sausages, and Eliza Meats are the gourmet specialists. Inquire about Eliza Meats Spithire by 9787 4473 for a mouth-watering meal fit for a king. It's all at Eliza Meats. See our sponsor Kevin at Eliza Meats, 112B Mount Eliza Way, a station sponsor. Chic is blending contemporary design and technological innovation into all of its televisions, fridges and freezers, meeting the lifestyle needs of all Australians. Did you know that Chic are exclusive television supplier to the Formula One Rolex Australian Grand Prix? From their Australian headquarters in Melbourne, Chic carefully select, import, market and sell products suited to Australian conditions. Chic are proud of their history. Just ask their millions of satisfied customers worldwide. Chic, a station sponsor. Do you feel good about your bank? Because there is a bank you can feel good about. They share their profits to fund big community projects, small community clubs and vital emergency services. They've given $250 million to help Australian communities thrive. They have all the products and tech you expect from a big bank with service you don't. It's Bendigo Bank. Feel good about who you bank with. Try Bendigo. Search bendigobank.com today you or search Bendigo Bank near me. If you have a business on the Mornington Peninsula, or for that matter, anywhere in the world, you need to advertise. So why not let Radio Port Phillip do it for you? Whatever your business, wherever you are, we can help you reach your target market. With a diverse range of programs, there is no one that we cannot reach. Our production team will design the perfect ad for your business, plus our competitive rates will enable you to run more ads than the opposition, giving your business the edge in your chosen profession. Interested? Contact the station on 5975 2650. And welcome back. Uh, you're listening and watching RWPFM's uh, coverage of the match between Bond Beach and Rosebud. And, uh, gentlemen, uh, three-quarter time. Uh, we've got to find ourselves an Eliza Meets man of the match today as well. Um, and, uh, Vossi, you've got the goal kickers there. I do. Trent Dennis Lane has kicked four goals. Two goals to Lockie Gilranouf, one goal to David Armitage, Sam Dilbert, Jack Sullivan, Mitch Gent and Joseph Fisher. And for... Rosebud, one goal to Keegan Downey, one goal to Reed Nance Cowan, one goal to Tom Baker and one to Liam Tidd. So they just need they do, just need to try, look, the game's done for them, they just need to try and win this last quarter, Rosebud, as far as I'm concerned. Take it take it into next week. If and you are, just uh, sorry to interrupt, Vossi, before you get on to uh, Bomb Beach, but we've got uh, one of our ca cameras down at... Uh, at, down at uh, ground level at, uh, in that Bomb Beach huddle. Some fantastic scenes coming uh, from that from that uh, very dominant side in Bomb Beach at the moment. Mm. Bossy. Yep, I'm just 
just uh, just Sorry, looking mate, to caught you off. You're right, you're right. I'm okay, just looking to see be. who's playing next week. Cause I, was that? Just Rosebud play the Bombers next week, and Bomb Beach are away at Sorrento. So they've got the really long trip next week. They do. The Sharks versus the Sharks. I think I just saw, uh, we're just getting some, uh, as I mentioned, some live vision, and I think I just saw Sam Gilbert. Uh, he's got, yep, there it is there. He's got his, uh, looks like his, his son or his daughter uh, on his hip in the, in the <laughs> three-quarter time huddle. How good is that for local football? There, yep, there they are. Look at them. Have a look at that. Just a wee man with his dad. Oh jeez, don't you just love those scenes? Community don't, football. That's don't you love? It's... Don't you love the locks on the kid? The kid's oh, got I fantastic know. hair. Absolutely, Sam Gilbert. There, just beautiful scenes coming to you from the uh, the Bomb Beach huddle there at three quarter time. It Go is Michael. Gold Coast eleven three sixty nine. Collingwood five twelve forty two. Yeah, all over there. And Greater Western Sydney nine thirteen sixty seven. Adelaide Crows three seven twenty five. You are crap, Adelaide. You ruined my tipping again. Uh, Goal kickers for. Oh boy. Have you done that, Michael? I've done the goal kickers. Thank you very so much. What about what about some uh, what about some players leading for this uh, for this magnificent meat tray, boys? Thanks to all eyes and mates. Yeah, look, I think. Oh, 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 and uh, Greg Bentley. Greg Bentley was very, very good when we saw him two, two weeks ago. Uh, so, uh, some honourable mentions uh, to, to Rosebud. But look, Bomb Beach for me, uh, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different goal kickers. Trent Dennis Lane with four. Sorry, short pass. If BT can get a shot of Shane McDonald's left leg, uh, he's got the he's got the wrapping right around the leg now. Um, Craig A did touch on the ball that McDonald's the game. So it's just interesting to see if you can get a shot of that uh, on his on his left leg there. We'll see if we can get a shot of that uh, a little bit later on, uh, because our, com our, our cameraman is out of position at the moment. Okay, go as the uh, crowd disperses, we still have uh, so. a little bit of a, a uh, little bit of time here. So got a bat on the ground. John, three quarter time. Where did you go? Uh, Bond Beach, fellas. How you doing? Good chaps. I did really good to uh, so start the quarter at as the scores are level. The coach wants to know um, how we are thinking of the game, how ruthless we can be. We have made our teammates better at being ruthless at the ball and playing our roles. Don't rush the ball when we mark the ball. Let's start sending a message of how ruthless we are to the rest of the competition. And next week, boys, Somerville will be Mornington we are doing. Some... Uh, some ground, bar some ground breaking dirt there. Well, uh, of course, we'll have Wiggy right next to us on his van and uh, his yeah. vantage point, and uh, the boys and the boys in the uh, the VIP hut there at uh, what do they call it at Somerville? Well, hopefully we'll uh, we'll have the van up and running as well. Uh, we've had a bit of a working bee around the van. Gilbert and, uh, goes with the kick down towards Dennis Lane and takes the mark in the right forward pocket, tucked up right near the boundary line. Just uh, of course, I, while John was going through it, I was chatting to the great Jason Chapel. Haven't seen Chaps for a very long time, yeah, and that, that is it. That is his boy out there. It is. Yeah, that is definitely is. That uh, that face I did recognise. Yeah. So, Trent Dennis Lane going for goal number five. And that's uh, Braden Chapel two for our listeners and viewers. Number thirty-five for Bomb Beach. He has the shot, does Trent Dennis Lane, he's pulled it to the near side. So that goes through for A behind. So we've played a minute in the last quarter on Bomb Beach 11, 16, 82. And Rosebud 4, 3, 27. That's on the Ray White Frankston scoreboard. As the ball is moved towards half back here for Rosebud, they've just got to try and uh, try and get some confidence back there's it confidence has been shot and the players are tired because they are two players down but you've just got to keep going at it and just hope that things can turn around and get a bit of confidence for next week try and take something out of us a high kick comes in from fisher towards full forward off the pack sullivan gets a hand pass back he was looking there for gil renouf who taps it to himself he picks it up he goes in short. He's looking there for a teammate who's got it at Fisher. He's about, or oh, he'd be close to 50. Oh, no, he's about 40 out. Yeah, about 40 out, directly in front. Just too big there he was for um, for Dale Marshall there. Has at least a foot on him. Great contest, though. Made him earn for it. So, 
you've got with the ball, Joseph Fisher has kicked one goal this afternoon. He is going for goal number two. He has the shot. He puts it through for a goal, and that's another goal on the board there for Rosebud. Uh, sorry for um, Bomb Beach. Beach, who move up to 12, 15, 87, and Rosebud a 4, 3, 27. And that, of course, is on the Ray White Frankston scoreboard. And uh, a few people, quite a few people I know here today. So I do know a lot of people, as you know. So yeah, uh, you do know a lot of people, Vossi. I'll give you that. Being the mayor of Mornington. That's a, that's a big game we've got next week, Summerville Mornington, isn't it? Yeah, it is a huge game. I'm looking forward to, to seeing, uh, I might be eating my words after today as well. I reckon uh, the Mornington boys, Lockie Sasevich, of course, was sitting right next to me when I tipped against his beloved dogs. That was a quality hour and a half with Lockie in the studio this yeah, morning, wasn't it? it was. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, it's a good day when uh, when our executive producer, Peter Susevich, gets the P1SS taken out of him and uh, what a great man to do it in his son. Robbie so Boss enjoyed that. went forward with the kick, but the mark was taken there and they can play on to Bond Beach. They can just chip the ball around, do what they want. So who's leading? Who's leading the best player at the moment? You reckon? Is it, oh, is it, is it Gilbert? Is it uh, is it somebody else? I think it's Sam Gilbert personally. I think he's been brilliant across all parts of the ground today, and uh, he's he's a course uh, kick kick one goal as well. So if he was able to kick another goal, I reckon that'd have him pegged as the uh, the BOG for the uh, for the meat tray. Thanks to Kevin Eliza Meats. Long kick by Marshall inside. Ball off the pack. A chance here for. Tid, he's going to get a free kick. Does Liam Tid, and you this to go back and be the first multiple goal scorer on the ground this afternoon for Rosebud? Yeah, absolutely. The young Liam Tid. You back him in every day of the week, Vossi. He's a, a prolific goal kicker. He's Liam Tid, and I hope he, I don't put the commentator's mocks on him. Has the shot. Puts it through for a goal. That is a goal. That is a goal. Get around him, boys. Rosebud just a little bit flat at the moment. Uh, Fletch Husswaite bleeds Rosebud colours. Just uh, trying to get the boys a bit fired up. Champion player, his old man. Oh, jeez. The whole family. The whole family are... Uh, Campbell's at... Co is it when he was on Collingwood's list? Is he still... Is he still yeah, on he's, um, he's, he's vice... Well, he's co-captain. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Campbell Husswaite, of course. VFL, for, VFL listed player for Collingwood. So, so many things have changed since 2019 when we come back into footy this year, locally wise. So, um, uh, this is going to be a big win this afternoon for Bond Beach, and they've played very, very nicely in doing it. So, we've played, what, five minutes in the last quarter margin is 55 points. And all of a sudden, that confidence will be back flowing through the veins as Armitage gets the ball out. How have you rated Armitage's game today, Craig? Yeah. Going short pass? Yeah, look, I think he's been very, very good. Uh, you can just... He's a, he's a body that you can count on every single time and you, you forget how... You know, although he hasn't played at the highest level for a little while, he's a very, very strong man. Uh, and the, the leadership that he's, um, that he's shown out there has been exceptional. Kick towards coming at full forward. He just... He got, might have got manhandled there, but the ball is going to be underground hand pass towards defensive 50. And the umpire is going to call for a ball up and does. Vossi, just exactly what I said earlier, though. Cumming has, uh, has brought that ball to ground every time he's played, uh, has gone to full forward, and no one at his feet, no crummers at his feet to pick the ball up. Uh, you need the likes of uh, Tiddy at his feet. Very quick in and under player is Liam Tidd. Uh, almost nearly seeing it there, but the punch from behind. Yeah, they haven't really sniffed too much of Rosebud crummers this afternoon. They just haven't been able to get their hands on it. Mind you, the inside oh. 50s, the total inside 50s, the official stats that the Beautiful. clubs will see at the end will see that right, Bomb Beach, I reckon, have dominated. Beautiful mark there yeah. by Chapel with the flight, going back at the flight of the ball. Absolute courage. Long kick towards his teammate there, and uh, Gent gets the ball over. And now they can go inside with the agency. I think that was Coates who went towards centre-half forward. Gil Renouf went up. Couldn't take the mark. The Rosebud defence didn't go as hard at that one as what they probably should have. There's a kick around the corner towards Dennis Lane. Takes it. Kicks it. Goal and hits oh, the post. Hits the post. Oh, that would have been five. He, he, could, he, could, sense, he could sense this meat tray. I reckon <laughs> the word's got out to him. Six and he's a fair chance of this meat tray. Uh, absolutely. He's... 
He was keen then, wasn't he? Wheeled it around on the right. Just cut cut his angle, too fine, kicking the nearest po uh, goal post. As a mongrel kick out of their defensive 50 for Rosebud. Taken there by Chapel, gets it over towards Waterstone. They look to go forward here, but they're right in that blind spot as the ball comes back in sight and the kick goes to centre half forward and the mark has been taken there. I think that might be by Fisher again. I think you might be right. Uh, no, it's not. It's Coates. Blaine Coates with the ball. Directly in front. About 35 out, I'd say. So, Trent Dennis Lane coming to the bench. And I uh, just wonder... He's just sort of shaking his head there. I just wonder whether he might have... He wanted that fifth. He oh, wanted it so bad. He might He might just be shaking his head because of that. Because the kick at goal by Coates has been put through for a point, but I'm oh. just wondering whether he might have done something as well there, Trent Dennis Lane, and he's sort of not trying to show it to us. No, I think he's... Um, I reckon he's OK. I think he'd be down on himself, mate, with uh, with his side up by that by that much of a margin. He's uh, He's a perfectionist. He's uh, Trent Dennis Lane, and uh, he's going to want perfection every time. So he'll be down on himself. There's no question about that. He will have wanted five goals, but this is a time now where I think Bomb Beach just need to start thinking about next week. They need to start resting players, as we heard. Um, Vossi, you say you'll be you'll be happy to know, mate. Shane McDonald's had that uh, that ice pack taken off his legs. So just a precaution, a precautionary thing, I think, for, for Bomb Beach. Just uh, managing, obviously, uh, Big Macca there. Uh, well, he, and won't, then, uh, he, he won't play again today. No, no, no. There's no need for him to play again today. Exactly. Nor is... Uh, oh, Trent Dennis Lane looks like he's going to come back on the ground. He wants he wants uh, another another couple of goals, I reckon. Ball's coming out this side. If they can switch, if they make the switch, but they can't, he would have been out there on his own. But as it is... The ball is with Bomb Beach. They get the hand pass out towards Gilbert, who's been really good today. Gets the ball over the top. And now the kick goes in short, looking there for Gil Renouf, who's got it. Right half back, or just, uh, or actually right, defensive side of right centre wing, I suppose. Short pass. Mark taken. Tom Logan. Big. He's been good today in Ruck. He's been up against it with the two Cummings brothers. Hogan it is, goes towards the centre of the ground. Mark will be taken. And they can play on here through the agency there of Casey. Gets the ball over towards his teammate there who kicked it straight into the uh, man in front of him. 25. Oh, that was Tyson Milne, of course. Son of uh, son of Stephen. It's hit Brad, as, as uh, he was affectionately called there. I think by I think Christian him that. Was it James Brasher? I reckon Christian him that. Anyhow, there's an opportunity inside attacking 50. On the outside, they go at goal and they will kick a goal. And it's Jack Sullivan who went... When it goal, he went with the underground kick and his teammate who was standing about five metres in front of him had to just swivel the hips to get him out of the way bit to make a, sure the ball went past. Bit of a tunnel ball there, wasn't it, Vossi? So that is goal number two for Jack Sullivan. He's been pretty good too. Yeah, he's been very good. They're, uh, you know, they've got multiple, multiple goal scorers across multiple goal kickers. Yeah, they'd have about seven or eight goal seven, kickers. Seven, good, seven different goal scorers. With multiple goal goals to uh, to Trent Dennis Lane with four, Joseph Fisher with two, Lockie Gill Renouf with two, Jack Sullivan with two, and then singles to Dave Armitage and Mitch Gent. They'd be happy with that Bomb Beach day out for them. So ball thrown up again by the umpire. Once again, the umpire calls for a ball up as. Uh, Germana are kicking an absolute cricket score there. 21-16, oh, 142 Lord. pines and 9-5-59. Oh. YCW going pretty well with that again. 19-12-126, Edifal 9-11-65. Bombers 9-13-67, Red Hill 5-2-32. There's only a goal the difference at Mount Eliza in the last quarter. It's Sereno up by a goal, short pass. Oh, Struth. Uh, I actually thought, actually thought you were going back for the food there. I lost you there, short pass. No. You sat down. Yep. Just taking a taking a breather for a sec. And uh, what do we got in Division Two? Lang Warren up by 63 points. Devon Meadows up by 43. Devon Meadows 10, 18. Neil Craig won't be happy with that. Karingal up by 27. Chelsea up by 21. Seaford up by 90. Mornington up by 56. Interesting thing to see how Adam, Adam Kirkwood went today to see whether he, yeah, whether yes. he number one he played and whether, number two whether he got through the game. 
Umpire to come in, ball it up. They've been good today, the officiators. Yeah, they, to be perfectly honest, haven't really, Jesus, haven't really noticed them that much, to be perfectly honest, and that's the way you want it. So. Yeah, it is the way you want it. Tackle applied there, Gilbert helping out Armitage here in the tackle and making sure that the Rosebud player in Robbie Boss couldn't go any further. Cumming takes the ball out of the ruck contest, tries to knock the ball forward, it was taken by Coates. I think it might have hit Robbie Boss's bounce as a quick kick comes in from Jai Nanskow and on the ground he gets the ball back but then he loses control. Ball inside the rose, but attacking 50. The umpire says ball up. And guess who's here? Short pass. Who's here, Michael? Mr. Whippy's here. Oh, of course he. Oh, there he is over there. Ice cream. <laughs> I got the ice cream and you can have some. Did you ever see that? Ice cream, ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Oh. A uh, bit, of, bit of vanilla and chocolate just combined will go down ni nicely right now, I reckon. Oh, that's oh, high contact there on Dave Armitage. Might have exaggerated the contact, the, time, the contact a little bit, but he was he was taken high. He'll get the free kick. A little bit of mayo on that, that you reckon, Vossi? I think he put a little bit of mayo on just it. A, just a touch. Whole yeah. leg. We don't we don't want any mayo in ice cream. That that wouldn't be real nice. No. Is it? So ball with Sean Corrigan here for Bomb Beach, right half back flank. Looking there for options. I've got three players waiting to come back on in Jant and Casey and also big Tom Hogan. But um, they can just cool their heels at the moment. Uh, 14 minutes in the last quarter, 13 8 96. Plays 5 3 33. It's a 63 point margin in favour of Bomb Beach. As Jackson Casey has made his way back onto the ground, he's looking for a short option. But no, instead, Chapel goes down the line and goes yeah, out of bounds on the full. And that was too close to the line. Matthew Douglas is the player that went up. He tried to uh, exaggerate the ball was out of play, but uh, the umpire was right there, and it was a right decision right below us, and we could see that too. Keegan there. Downey just looking for his teammate there, being cut off. Uh, and, um, Craig, we might get you to keep an eye on that uh, Mount Eliza Sereno score. Maybe come back to us in a couple of minutes with a score update on that one. See if there's any, see, refresh the page maybe and see if we can get a score on that one because there's only a goal of the difference. Sereno have been in front all day. Long kick towards half forward. Chapel did well, went back, took the mark. Dave Armitage coming off for a rest. Kick towards Trent Dennis Lane who takes, that's a mark. Or it's a free kick, it's a mark. No, it's been paid a mark, Fossey. Good call. So TDL going back to go for goal number five. And this Bomb Beach side will be three and one after tonight, or after today. And I'll sit back tonight, a couple of quiet beers, and just uh, assess on the day. And it's been a very good day for the footy club. Very, very good day for the footy club. And uh, so Trent Dennison will kick from about 40 metres he has the shot at Dahl. He has missed to his near side. So the score moves up to 13-19-97. Rosebud 5-3-33. And in that game, Craig 11-8-74. Sorrento, Mount Eliza 10-8-68. So Mount Eliza could play in their second draw in four, in four weeks short pass. How would mm, that be? Unreal. Just uh, having a look, uh, Bomb Beach under-19's got the job done today and their reserves. So it's going to be a big night at uh, Bomb Beach Football Club, Vossi. Big, big night at Shark Park. You reckon there's a chance Absolutely. for Dennis Lane. Goes on the right foot. He checks it. A goal. He misses. He ran from the pocket. He set, He could have actually straightened up, but decided to went, go for the check side kick, and he missed it to the right-hand side. He heard us say the bag's six, Michael, and he wants six. He needs six, bag. he needs two more, and we've got how long? We've got we've got about ten minutes of play to go, so he can easily get the two. He's had two shots in the last 30 seconds. Absolutely. Goes out towards half back. They can go forward here, Rose, but they go down the line towards Tidu goes up. Ball comes to the back. Quick kick forward. It was it might have been out of play, it was. So Bomb Beach a 13, 20, 98, Rosebud 5, 3, 33. We've played 17 minutes in the last quarter. We're live here thanks to TV Magic oh, and, of course, our other great sponsors, Eliza Meats, Ray White, Frankston, Solar Heart. Uh, Progress Signs. Progress Signs. Uh, who have I missed? Woolworths. I don't know. What have I missed here? Uh, Chic. 
Sheik, of course. And uh, Bright Nordo. Bright Nordo. So there's some man magnificent sponsors. Uh, uh, just only just a, a sample of a lot of great sponsors. In fact, all our sponsors are great sponsors, aren't all they? All of them. We all love them. them. We love them. There's a, a kick there by Bennett towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Ball on the ground. Picked up there by Gilbert. I don't know how many possessions Sam Gilbert oh, had. I reckon he must, he must add 30. What a beautiful kick, though. And I'm, t I'm tipping that is Trent Dennis Lane with the I ball. I think it is. Yeah, it is. We're just in that blind spot once again. quickly play on, go inbound. He goes to centre half forward. Coming couldn't take the mark. The hand pass comes out towards the centre half back area, Marshall, who has been far from Rosebud's worst player out there. He's just absolutely dog-tired as a bomb beach trying to have a shot at goal and kick it out of bounds on the fall. They are all going to need an ice bath tonight, I reckon, Bossy, the Rosebud Football Club. They are going to be bloody exhausted. Yeah, well They've I'm done it hard today. And uh, not to take the chocolates is always extremely hard when you're going to be that cooked. I reckon if we come here again, I reckon uh, I might have to maybe bring an esky or something in here and just have, have a couple of, a couple of drinks in there. And I'm not well, we do have the drinks fridge here, Vossi, that was supposed to be turned on for us, apparently, but it wasn't. So uh, maybe next time. Not talking alcoholic either. No, no, just some, just some refreshments. Been very warm. Of and the liquid variety, alcoholic or not. Looking forward to getting my... Uh, laughing gears into around a, a nice cold can of or a bottle of something after the game there's a kick by Bennett towards full forward, it goes towards the left, it do, going up there at the back but it's a free kick to Rosebud Crummich coming off a of Rosebud, just looking very ginger 19 minutes played in the last quarter the margin is 65 points in favour of Bomb Beach as the kick went in short and it's been marked there by Cohen for the Rosebud side who went out towards half back. Great mark they, by Zach Maynard. They're going to play on here Rosebud. They get the chip kick down towards Downey on centre wing. Keegan Downey left it for his teammate there in, I think that might have been Marshall. The ball goes over the line for a boundary throw. It was Dale Marshall in fact. Thanks John Boy. Yeah, good luck taking that down on your own. <laughs> That's a big plate of food. It is a big plate of food. We made it a lot lighter for him though, Michael. Well, I, I had one sausage roll. What did you have? I had um, more than that. Yeah, I, 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 reckon, I don't reckon your your lovely lady will be cooking much tea tonight for you. <laughs> uh, after, after that small <laughs> board you just had. No, we're having chicken kiives tonight. Oh, beautiful. I know. I love a kiive. Gilbert tackled, hand pass towards the line, Ted seated over. Got to have the got to have the gush factor. They know what I mean. The gush factor with the with the garlic. It's just all the, the about the cooking. And it's all about the the gush factor with the, with the, the, the garlic coming out of it too. If, if they pop and you have your garlic butter and uh, and whatever might be inside it come out, you might as well throw it in the bin because it becomes dry and nasty as the ball is thrown back in. Taken forward there for Bond Beach towards half forward off the pack coming hand pass. What's happened here? Oh Jesus! Scores a level at Mount Eliza. Mount Eliza could play in their second draw in four weeks. Wow! 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 We. I've just taken that to a different level there. You have long kick towards half forward. Ball on the pack, a chance for Baker. He gets, oh. he taps it to himself. He probably should have kicked a goal there. Probably should have run another couple of minutes. Yeah. Didn't realise. Yeah, Baker's just uh, getting a little bit. Caught up in the lights there, disposing of that a little bit too early. And if, and if it is a draw today, Mount Eliza have obviously come back to get it, if that's the case, to get a draw, because Sereno's led all day in that game. Don't think we've seen a Mount Eliza in front all day. I think Sereno have hit the front and been in front all day up until now. So it, mate, that game must be right near the end like like this one is. It's time on here at Bomb Beach. So we're thinking if, if we're running on a par level, so that should be only about three or four minutes to go if that in that game with the scores at 74 each of two at Mount Eliza but here at Bond Beach it's a long kick inside attacking 50 for Rosebud looking for a late consolation but the mark has been taken there Tyson Milne 
It was indeed. So they can play on down the broadcast side. Trent Dennis Lane's got about five minutes, I reckon, to kick two goals for a chance at this meat tray. But uh, as it is, taken by Baker on centre wing. He goes with a high kick this time, Baker towards centre half forward. Off the pack. See, that's better There's there by Rose. Nance Cowan, a hand pass towards the mustachioed Stoffels. Now the uh, ball is going to be taken away here for Bond Beach and they go out towards the far side. Mark taken. There by Jack Sullivan, who's played a good game this afternoon. He's kicked two goals. Now Trent Dennis Lade is offering the lead. Oh, now I reckon he's going to go... He, no, he's, out of, he's going to be out of this because I reckon... Mitch I was going about to say he probably should have done the old double back and tried to get the ball going back the other way, but as it is... Mitch Dempster just forward. wearing him like a glove there. He thought he could uh, turn on the afterburners and burn off on him, but uh, Sorrento up there. by a point. Oh, Struth, good game still, there. Still going, but Sorrento up 11 9 75 to 11 8 74. And Mount Eliza, boy, if they lose two in a row, three points and a point at the moment. Like they're down by a point. If they lose two close ones, that'd be hard to take, wouldn't it? Yep. Ball up, centre wing, right or far side of the ground, and right centre wing here for Rosebud, left centre wing for Bond Beach. Throw up by the umpire. Ball knocked down. And good tackle applied there by Robbie Boss. And the umpire says, I'm going to ball that up. We're 24 minutes in the last quarter. Ray White, Frankston scoreboard. Bond Beach, 13, 20, 98. Rosebud, 5, 4, 34. There's an opportunity now for a high kick towards half forward. Going back, Carter. He might get, he might get the ball here. He gets, he gets the ball, but he's got no one to go to. He got tackled and had nowhere to go once he was on the ground. The umpire says, you are gone. Okay. Who did you say? Connells. Connells? Maybe McDonald. You don't know, mate. I don't know. Trent Dennis Lane on the end of that one. Quick to play on. Turns around. Looking for a on the run. Gil Renouf as he marks it. He's going to kick from about 20 out in a slight angle. You're back in from here, Vossi. You definitely would. Absolutely. Lining up for his third. He's been good today. Lockie gil You know, you can change your password so it's only four numbers, not eight. No, mine's six. You know, you can do, change it to four. So you yeah. don't have to put so many numbers in. Did you know that? Two points. No, I didn't know that. Two points <laughs> is a margin. Learn something, learn something new today. Yeah, you can change that. So you don't have to enter your whole name. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, no, I can tell you what, it ain't my name, that's for sure. See my name. That's, that's the easiest password that people will uh, think of if they know what your name is. And Lockie Gill Renouf there kicking his third on the final siren. That is a wrap here from Bomb Beach Recreational Reserve. Bomb Beach, very, very clear winners. 14, 20, 104, defeating Rosebud, 5, 4, 34. We might take a quick break and then we'll come back and wrap things up here live from Bomb Beach. All right, we'll, t we'll take a break in here. Will we? TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. Baxter Fish and Chips is the winner of RPPFM's Listener's Choice Award for the best fish and chips on the peninsula. Not only do they produce the finest traditional fish and chips, but offer awesome gluten-free as well. Clearly our listeners cannot be wrong. You will find this hidden gem at 92 Baxter Tourland Road in Baxter or give Terry or Spiro a call on 59712533 to place your order. Congratulations to Baxter Fish and Chips, a station sponsor. Right Auto is your Bayside and Peninsula it, Automotive one-stop shop. This all-in-one award-winning Mitsubishi MG and Sanyong dealership is also offering all-in-one certified parts and service. 
They have a huge range of new, demo and used vehicles, plus factory trained service technicians. Your proud RPPFM station sponsor, Brighton Auto, will also ensure your dream car is well within reach and kept in great hands. Why not visit brightonauto.com.au or find them at 67 Nepean Highway, Elstonwick, LMCT 10680. And uh, welcome back to uh, the wrap-up of uh, this game today between uh, Bond Beach and Rosebud. And uh, short pass just quickly, uh, Mount Eliza have hit the front Oh, uh, Sorrento. 12-8-80 to uh, Sorrento, 11-10-76. 76 <laughs> What a game down there it was, Craigo. Certainly was, and a uh, bit of a... a um, uh, an easy game at the end for Bond Beach short pass and unfortunately I think uh, those injuries really uh, impacted greatly on Rosebud. Yeah look there's no question about that if you're just joining us here at uh, Bond Beach Recreational Reserve uh, Bond Beach taking an easy victory uh, today 14-20 uh, 104 played Rosebud 5-4-34 oh, look it was, a, it was a tough fought out game by Rosebud, they, uh, they lost Greg Bentley early uh, which, uh, you know, watching him, Craigo, two weeks ago uh, take on, on uh, Dramana, he was very, very, very good. Uh, so that was a huge, that was a huge loss for them. And then, uh, and then uh, we've got, uh, for our viewers, uh, for our viewers on, uh, on different forms of, uh, of Facebook, we might throw to you, Vossi. With a very happy coach, Adrian Connolly. And, uh, and Connors, uh, how, how was that how was that for the boys today after last week's disappointment? Uh, exactly, Vossi, as you said there, mate. It was uh, a response to a standard footy that we weren't real happy with last week. And, yeah, you could not be proud of that bunch out there today. That was a terrific standard of footy. You won the toss, you kicked with the breeze. You probably you probably could have put it away by quarter time as it was. That second quarter was the quarter where you locked Rosebud down and you made sure that uh, you had a decently going in a half time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we just want to keep it simple. You just want to create contests, keep yourself in the game, and then if you work hard, you always get a little bit of reward off that, and that was just one of our focus. It wasn't about all the, the, the smart stuff. It was just about pressure, pressure, and pressure, and the boys brought in spades today. They were sensational. Sam Dilbert was huge today. Uh, that's his best game for us. Yeah, wasn't he? He was, a, he was very, very good. Uh, not lovely touch, his uh, child with him in the three-quarter time huddle. Yeah, 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 look, he, he loves it, and his kids are loving it. Um, he's just enjoying playing footy at a great family club, Bond Beach. So, yeah, when he's happy, he's playing great footy, and, yeah, sensational. Another big game for you guys next week. Sorrento involved in a close one. They were two points in front late in their game against Mount Eliza, but you've got to travel down to the road to Sorrento next week? Yeah, look, I, as I've heard plenty of times, there are no easy games in this competition, and uh, Sorrento is a team that we didn't defeat in 2019. So there's another challenge for us, and, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves ready and go again next Saturday. And what do you make of all the talk? Like, your side's the side that's spruiked. You've got you picked up two ex-AFL players. You've obviously got another one in TDL who's been around the club for the while, for a while. But everyone's talking Bond Beach are the side to beat. And how, do you, how do you sort of handle those expectations if, if in fact, they are expectations of the club? Oh, no, no it's, as our theme is for the year, we just want to keep getting better. We haven't set uh, a limit on where we can get to. We haven't set expectations. Every time we come out here, we want to play better as a footy team. And that, wherever that takes us, it will. So, you know, as long as we keep challenging the group because there's something in every game that they can improve on. So that's all we're aiming to do at the moment is just to get better and better every time we play together. Adrian, thanks for your time. Good luck next week. Thanks, Vossi. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. All users, uh, they're really hard to stop. And uh, as I said this morning on the Topun Football Show, uh, they, ha they had to come out and prove a point today. Uh, they have been earmarked uh, as premiership favourites for, for 2021. So to lose against Dramana last week was, you know, it was huge. They were always going to come out and, uh, and just earn their respect uh, rightfully so early on and, and they did that kicking a goal very early on um, I'm not sure if we're able to get vision of, uh, of uh, what's going on near the middle of the ground but uh, we've actually got Rosebud they're just doing their cool down uh, in the middle of the ground funnily enough so uh, conditions here at uh, Bomb Beach are very balmy so why not uh, Nick Jewell going around to all his plays you've got uh, uh, Jari Kennedy there on crutches uh, as mentioned uh, a couple of minutes ago he's in he's in uh, he's in a considerable amount of pain uh, and I think Sean Downey's there somewhere as well he were rocked up today of course he's uh, he's unable to play uh, John Boy I know you uh, you uh, 
you know, although you're busy doing uh, producing duties and whatnot, um, mate, look, you know, we, we saw Rosebud a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we saw him today. We haven't seen Bomb Beach play yet, but, uh, you know, look, it was, it's, it was an interesting game. Yeah, it was interesting. Who did they play two weeks again? They were, was I think Jemana. Jemana at home, so that was definitely a rivalry game. Yeah, it's just like you said, like um, everyone's saying that Bomb Beach should be um, premiers and that's what, you, like I said at um, three-quarter time, the coach says, let's be known to be ruthless at squads and just keep going and make a name for ourselves. Because when's the last time Bomb Beach won a flag? It was like 10 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, we haven't got the master statistician up here. Uh, he's just down in front of us because he refuses to come back up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Not going up there again, he says. Well, can you try and can you try and give us uh, who, who was your best on? Do you reckon, Markle? Sam yeah, Gilbert, yeah, yeah. Look, I, yeah, I tend to agree that. with that, yeah. Craig. Oh, yeah. Of course, Sam, Sam Gilbert um, kicking, uh, kicking. Just uh, where's he gone? There is one goal. Jeez, I think I'm just about cooked for the day. So Sam Gilbert there uh, kicking one goal. Oh, okay. So yeah, yep. So uh, the coach there saying that it was his his, his best game. Special uh, so mention. For spe that, yeah. Sorry, special mention too to the Debs, uh, uh, Jason Carter and uh, and Tyson Mill. Yeah, no, both good very one. good today. And I thought for the losing side, um, I thought Tids had a good game. Yep. Uh, he was he was uh, there and thereabouts all day. Uh, Greg Bentley in stages and Tom Baker, of course, starved a bit of the ball today. But uh, Matthew Cumming was strong in the ruck. Yeah, Matthew um, was. He was very yeah, strong. Yeah. And then uh, that's the beauty of the Cumming boys is they're able to, you know, one can pop out of the out of the forward 50 and then go into the ruck and they just they just exchange. Um, but you know, yeah. look, the, the Downey, uh, there's no doubt Keegan would have missed his brother Sean today. But Keegan was Keegan was great, uh, you know, on ball. Uh, Jackson McRae always fantastic down back. Um, you know, but, but but then for Bomb Beach, you know, a special honourable mention to uh, Trent Dennis Lane kicking four goals today. Uh, Jack Young Jack, Jack Sullivan, fantastic with two. And Lockie gil Renouf, uh, geez, he's, he's good, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Can I just say, um, the bomb, um, P did we go on PSL um, Karingal? No, result? we haven't had it. No, you can go through the results if you like. Uh, the result for Karingal, this is, well, I would have loved to be this game. Um, both teams scored over 100 points. Oh! Uh, Karingal 128, Pierce Dale at home at the Dales, 106. Oh, so th th that would have been a very no, fast flow. They've been very happy with that uh, with that game. Well, look, boys, I don't know if we're... Yeah, just quickly, the winners today yeah, in, in, in Div 1. Through, uh, yeah, bring us through, Craig. Frankston Bombers were winners over Red Hill. Uh, Drabana over Pines uh, by 109 points. Uh, Frankston YCW over EDS. Um, as we said, uh, Mount Eliza won that very close game by four points over Sorrento. That was the one we were watching. And, uh, of course, a big win here for uh, Bond Beach today. And that, those Div 2 scores uh, there, John. Lang Warren won 3-6 to um, Hastings 50. Um, Meadows, uh, Neil Craig will be very happy about this. Uh, 84 to 36 at the tyre. As I just said, uh, um, PSL 106 to um, Karinga 128. That would have been very fast moving football that would have been uh chelsea uh beat somerville's uh, oh! 86 to 65 so that's very good for chelsea two very big wins in a row i think wasn't it last week's win that sort of got word out they didn't go to training went to the pub was that <laughs> i think that was the word around the thing uh seaford 136 to um cribby 40 and uh, Mornington, oh, gee whiz, Adam, don't look at this. No. <laughs> Turn away. <laughs> Turn away, 118-62. Oh, and wow. And the Suns won at, against Collingwood, mate. What's going on with them? Yeah, yeah well, G that's... GWS well, well and truly in control against Adelaide. That's, so, that's for at, another time and yeah, another show. Yeah, look, it's been, it's been a great day here at uh, Bond Beach. Thanks to the Bond Beach uh, Footy uh, Netball Club for Absolutely. hosting us here today. And, of course, our... Our team of, uh, of volunteers, yep. uh, the EP uh, Nipples, uh, BT on the camera today, uh, Johnny, of course, uh, Short Pass and, and Vossi. Uh, we uh, we thank you for, for being part of the, the show today. But also a special mention, um, and we much appreciate this uh, this lovely lady, uh, Courtney, Courtney McLennan yep. as well, the uh, the coach, uh, sorry, the captain. <laughs> I will get it she right might, one day. She to, might be coach one yeah, day. Yeah, so. well, maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm putting her up there for it, but uh, the captain of the A-grade girls at Rosebud, uh, we're going to try and have her on as, as much as possible, Craig, oh, yeah. throughout the year. Uh, she's a, a great addition to, uh, to our coverage, and we, like I said earlier, we need to uh, promote the game of netball. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic game and uh, a great at uh, football club level as well. And yeah. that's Somerville next week. 
That's it, yeah, some yeah. of all next week. Thanks, uh, thanks, John Boy. But uh, make sure you join us at 9 o'clock uh, on Saturday morning for the Toe Pump Football Show. It's been an absolute pleasure covering the game today for you. Uh, but that is a wrap from us from uh, Bomb Beach Recreational Reserve, Craig Oak. Yep, and thanks to all our wonderful uh, sponsors. Absolutely. Uh, of course, uh, our scoreboard for uh, Ray White at Frankston. Now, uh, Eliza Meets, uh, Player of the Day today, who we gave it to, uh, Sam, Sam Gilbert. Gilbert. Um, uh, our score updates uh, for Progress Signs. Progress Signs around the grounds, around the thanks grounds. to uh, Solar Heart, Solar of course. Heart, yep. T two kids next year, Craigie, doing the um, scoreboard yeah. for Bomb Beach. Yeah, they did a great job, the two boys, today. So yep. thanks, Absolutely. everybody, for having us. And uh, we're going to uh, wrap it up and say goodbye from Bond Beach and pass back to Julie in the studio.